Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Game Masters right here on the GDQ Hot Fix. And today, I've got an awesome show ready for you because we are going through some of like my favorite games of all time. And I think uh, it's a fan favorite as well for everybody watching back at home, uh, the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy. And I needed someone, you know, pretty well versed in all of these games here. So I've got with me, but none other than the Void Donkey Kong Country extraordinaire. Void, how are you doing? Thanks for coming on. Hey, gamer and gamers. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, very excited to be doing uh, some trilogy action for you guys today. Uh, trilogy with a twist. <laughs> there are going to be some... Um, slight surprises for you, um, potentially, um, when we get later in. Uh, but Void, what do we have in store, at least for our first game of the evening? Yeah, so first run is going to be Donkey Kong Country uh, All Stages. So this is, uh, it, this has historically been considered the main category uh, for the Donkey Kong Country speedrun, and it has a, a ton of uh, really impressive uh, glitches and skips. It basically aims at uh, going through uh, every single stage uh, in the game as quickly as possible. Uh, you know, going through a stage uh, one way or another. Uh, you'll see what I mean as I play along. But uh, yeah, the definition <laughs> of all stages can be like a little loose uh, for some people, but all of the stages are being played uh, at least a little bit. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there are some uh, some stages that have like built-in shortcuts, and then some of them where um, you know some shenanigans maybe happen. Like th this kind of we do like some, some weird map stuff on the right, uh, pressing oh, yeah. buttons oh, yeah. at right times. <laughs> if you haven't seen this run, I I have no idea how it works. It just does, and it's actually incredible. And Void, like you've been grinding this specific category quite a lot lately, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, so uh, my PB for this category is actually like, it, it's gonna be five years old in December. So yeah, I'm kind of looking to uh, improve on that PB. The reason being, uh, it's been so long and there has been so much new stuff that has been discovered since that it makes the category fresh and uh, exciting for me again. Like back when I got uh, my PB, like that run was not only world record, but it was also like pretty optimized at the time. Uh, I basically hit uh, every big trick that you can uh, think of in the run, and I was really happy about uh, the result. And still to this day, I think my uh, DKC All Stages PB is uh, one of uh, the better speed runs that I've ever done. So yeah, definitely looking forward to uh, improve on that. Uh, the record now for that category is over a minute faster than what my current PB is. So I'm definitely looking to maybe push uh, closer to that uh, once again before uh, moving on to other projects. Awesome. Well, I don't want to keep you any longer. So Boyd, are you ready to tackle DKC1? I am. Heck yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. And whenever you are ready, you can go ahead and count us in. And yeah, take it All away right, sounds, whenever you are ready. Sounds good. So the first thing that I do is reset because it sets up a glitch uh, on the overworld that will uh, have you start as the uh, funky plane um, that you would usually collect uh whenever you visit funky so that you can travel in the overworld and it's actually faster to be on the funky plane rather than be uh the regular kongs on the overworld so uh resetting is part of it and you want to set up the glitch on the uh, cranky screen but uh yeah now i'm ready uh so i'll give you a countdown in five four three two one smurf <laughs> good luck void Thank you, thank you. All right, so first things first, uh, Donkey is really bad in this game. So the first uh, thing I'm gonna do as soon as I get Diddy is kill off Donkey. Uh, it's a little faster than swapping to Diddy. And, and now I'm doing all of these uh, rolls that you can that you see me do. Uh, rolling is the fastest way to go through this game, uh, fastest form of movement. And uh, this game has something that the uh, other two DKC games does not have, and it's called uh, Extended Rolls. Uh, we call so those cool. Extendo. Yeah, so uh, the way it works is 
when you're rolling, uh, you want to release, you want to initiate a roll, but release Y before uh, rolling through an enemy. And then after rolling through the enemy, you want to repress Y afterwards. So it gives your roll extra length, which is very nice. Uh, here I'm grabbing the bonus because it's faster. A lot of what I'm going to be doing, by the way, I'll do because it's faster, so... <laughs> it, 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 it might not be the first time I'll s say that uh, throughout the course of uh, this uh, trilogy speedrun. Yeah, some of the bonuses will move you forward in the level. Some of them can move you back. <laughs> so it's yep. kind of a, a mixed bag where they go. Like, I think DKC1 in particular, the bonuses, you know, Rare hadn't quite figured it out yet. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> both where the bonuses are placed, the distribution and the levels and what they actually do are very inconsistent, kind of like mm. all over the place. Yeah, but like th this, this game still laid uh, the foundations for uh, what DKC two and three turned out to be. Where like you know regarding bonuses and whatnot, like there's a lot more uh, stability and also like the bonuses in general, like uh, they give you rewards, like actual rewards that aren't just like animal tokens or like a bunch of bananas. That okay, what am I supposed to do with those? Like they give you uh, bonus tokens, which you can use to unlock secret levels, which is really awesome. So so Void, how, how much to get you to do a Donkey On Guard here? Uh, I'll be doing Donkey On On Guard uh, like later this run, but uh, All right, you know. good, 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 good. Uh, do, do, we, do, we, do we have a, a, a donation incentive? Can we make a quick donation incentive for Donkey on On Guard? <laughs> no, but everybody, your subs, gift subs, and bits do help quite a bit. Um, so if you have any of those available, um, please consider subscribing. If you're some bits, it helps us put on hot fix shows like this for your all entertainment. It helps us bring on awesome people like Lloyd. So. Yeah. I guess I guess I am pretty awesome. Thanks, but you're pretty awesome too, fans. So you know, no. How about I see I see, I see in, in Twitch chat that a hype train is close. If you if you all get it to a level three hype train, how about that? We'll we'll do donkey on on guard. Yeah, <laughs> hype, tra hype train level, level three. three hype train on in the Twitch donkey on on guard. If you don't know what that is, you'll you'll understand very very yeah. very soon. <laughs> all right, so tough extendo coming up. Ah, I didn't quite get it. But I can still salvage this. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> You're good. It's fine. Don't worry about yep. it. It's okay. I, I know how to do the rest of this stage, but it's it's definitely slower. <laughs> yeah, I remember this was like one of the first, like, oh crap stages. You know, with all the fast moving barrels and all these bottomless pits, the timing. Yeah, yeah. Super so, interesting. Like, I didn't know you could skip that many of those barrels in there, so that was heckin' awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right, first boss, right. Uh, Impossible Beaver. Uh, you have to land on him five times because Rare uh, makes really good boss fights. Oh my god, we got a level one hype train, Void. Let's go! If, if it gets to level three, you're gonna do Donkey on On Guard. Donkey on On Guard. All right, can I, can I see some Void debuts in the chat room, by the way? <laughs> for for world two, like we just got done with world one, let's do let's do let's get let's see some void W's for world two. You know, void. I really love how you know. Obviously, you know. I feel the black and white camera is so iconic at this point with uh with your <laughs> with your brand and everything. Oh yeah, yeah the, the black and white cam. Mm-hmm. No, I yeah. saw like I had a couple of votes as well with the black and white. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah Void yeah, W, right. that is a great that that is fantastic. Love it. Love to see. Yeah. It. We got even oh. Void W but fast. Let's go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a I'm a fan. I'm a fan of my Void W variants. <laughs> mm hmm uh, I, I think is, the arrive one's the... my favorite. The, the, the arrive, yeah. <laughs> This stage is really hard, by the way, but it's also like super rewarding to do. It's one of the the, the most uh, technical stages, I would say. 
And so far, I'm doing quite good at it. I'm uh, doing uh, this uh, thing right here. Uh, we call those crawl space zips. And basically, if you initiate a roll, if you're crouching and you're initiating a roll uh, in the crawl space, uh, you can either zip forward or backward, depending on like where in the crawl space that you do uh, the zip. So oh, this game's beautiful. Zip. <laughs> this run is so beautiful. Even <laughs> if like you mess up, just the movement is so dang cool. I'm all about it. Yeah, speaking of movement, uh, I'm gonna go left here instead of going right because there's a war barrel. So this is actually a, a, an interesting war barrel because it puts you at the end, but like doesn't put you like right at the end. So you still have to like play a good, like a decent chunk of the level even after grabbing the war barrel. Also, you can roll through those rock crocs and not take damage uh, because this game works. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorites. I actually learned how to do this a, a couple weeks ago where you get rid of Donkey on the wall. He's going to go up really fast, and you bounce off of these, get hit, and then Donkey's just, well, yo, I'm in space now. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> so we call this trick the super jump, and essentially it gives you, or has the potential to give you uh, infinite height. So as much height as you want, and you use that height to reach a uh, war barrel. All right, so Mean Bird, uh, Neki's Nuts, um, once again, bounce on the guy five times. But this one is a little tricky, like, I'm really trying uh, to get really tight hits on him, uh, and thankfully I didn't get I didn't get, I didn't get punished, but I easily could have been. Uh, you do want to keep Donkey for this uh, portion of the run, because in the stage, Vulture Culture, uh, there is a Donkey-only war barrel, uh, and it, it, you're also on a timer, so you have to, like, go pretty fast at the start. Yeah, how tight is this timer? Um, maybe like 10, 15 seconds. What an interesting game. Why is that yeah. there? <laughs> yeah, it's like it, it's like the only barrel in the game, the only war barrel in the game that's on a timer. All right, speaking of war barrels, there's one up there. <laughs> and <laughs> Eventually, like, I, there will be stages without war barrels, trust me, gamers. Actually, this one, uh, but this one has a, uh, one of the tricks, one of the big tricks of the run. Uh, so, the super jump that I did earlier, uh, I'm gonna try to combine this with a jump roll. And the trick, as a result, is gonna be called a super jump roll. Uh, but it's frame perfect, and I only have one shot at it, so let's see how it goes. Ah, I was too early right there. Alright, let's, uh, okay. give it another attempt. So you can just super jump through this level, and it's going to be much faster than doing the level normally. Uh, but the super jump roll saves like 17 seconds over the super jump, so it's pretty worth it. It's also super cool whenever you get it. <laughs> ah, yeah, there you go. Yo, let's go! <laughs> Wee! We cartwheeling through the air, lads. Oh, what an incredible... I'm amazed the game doesn't break. This is so dang cool. This is so <laughs> yeah. awesome. It's really funny too, like how this uh, trick came to be. Like, as the jump rolls were already known back then, and the super jumps were. And someone was just like, "Shouts to Rainbow Sprinkles. He's the one who discovered them." He was like, "Why? What if we just combine both?" And turns out it does exactly what you think it does. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, so I Temple Tempest. That's another uh, really cool stage with a lot of cool extendos to cross uh, huge gaps. That was one of them. Uh, this one is another one of them. Ah, uh, it's like you just, it's just barely enough. Boy, they put the rope in the perfect spot to reach it. It's like, how is yep. this so happening? <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh. As you can tell, Chad, I love this game. So. <laughs> Every time I watch a speedrun, it just gives me a rush. Yeah. Right. Oh, by the way, uh, you can roll through the millstones and not take damage. Same uh, same thing as the Rock Crocs in World 2. Uh, this game works. Wait, really? So. Yep. I also love the sound these mills make, the millstones. It's like a core sound for me. I can always imagine it. <laughs> you can imagine that that's how, like, if you were to encounter a millstone in real yeah, life, that's, what that's it's the sound that's it what make. it should sound like. If it doesn't, I'm going to be weirded out a bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so right here I'm going back to World 1 because I'm going to do a trick called Map Warp. So you see those corners on the overworld? Uh, if you press a face button on the same frame as you go on uh, the corner, uh, you will 
be sent to uh, a location. Uh, three of those corners will send you to this level orangutan gang. So you can just enter the level uh, much further into it than normal and then complete it afterwards uh, by Do you using know uh, why that works? I don't I don't understand it at all. <laughs> so the, the the reason why is because like you stop on those corners for one frame and when you're uh, immobile on the overworld the game thinks that you're over a location but like as for why it sends you to orangutan gang over any other level I have no idea. Just like three of them send you to uh, Orangutan Gang, and the fourth one sends you back to one two. But obviously, we don't want that. So. Mm -hmm. All right. These water levels are deceptively difficult to optimize because, oh, yeah. uh, like, preserving the momentum and just moving around in the water is so strange. It's like so different and weird and. It's very easy if you mess up a, an input to just get stopped. Like you have to, you go too high, you have to change direction, and it's just, oh, it's, yeah, it feels it's, awful like, when it happens, but it also the, feels great when you get it done cleanly. The swimming is also much worse in this game than it is in um, DKC 2 and 3. Like in DKC 2 and 3, uh, they really buffed the swimming. Like the Kongs aren't like completely useless underwater, and neither <laughs> is On Guard. Like On Guard is actually good in the other two games, but in this game, it's uh, very, very uh, underwhelming. <laughs> to say you know, the least. DKC one Rambi or DKC one On Guard, which is worse? Uh, <laughs> can I not answer? <laughs> you, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, here's World Four. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I, I, you know, um, if I if I had to absolutely choose, uh, I would pick on guard because heck, Rambi. But it's like, <laughs> I, I, I think you can see one on guard is uh, yeah. It it, 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 it's, it it has revealed its true colors to me recently. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, if you ever wondered why Rambi feels so sluggish in DKC1 compared to you, 2 and 3, it's because they intentionally added an in input delay to Rambi's movement to make him feel more like a tank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it, it doesn't work too well. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that's not there in the other ones. That's why I feel so much better. The more you know. I yep. learned that one from Void. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you <laughs> if you ride Donkey, if you ride Rambi with Donkey in this game, like, the screen will actually shake when you're landing. To really, like, I guess, demonstrate how heavy Donkey riding Rambi feels like. And also, you'll uh, you'll move slower because uh, everything Rambi, uh, everything Donkey touches gets worse. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was uh, okay. Donkey Kong, literally the worst character in his own game. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so right there, uh, that was another war barrel. Uh, normally, you can only access it as Donkey because, uh, well, Do Donkey does that good, actually. He can reach that barrel because his hitbox is actually a little taller than Diddy's. But I was able to just um, clip through the ceiling and uh, jump into the barrel as a result. Uh, and then easy peasy, you don't have to switch to Donkey, which would be uh, a little bit slower. This level Everybody. is... Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this level is unplayable without Espresso, and it's also much faster with Espresso, so we're grabbing Espresso the Ostrich. This is another one. I think it's because the acceleration is so weird on Espresso. It's a little bit uh, wonky to, to play with. Mm -hmm. Definitely takes getting used to. Also, the jump. I, I never quite understood the jump momentum. <laughs> With uh, with espresso, yeah. Yeah. It's, like it's you go from odd. zero to a hundred like right away with it, so it takes a little getting used to. Oh. Yeah, but everybody, make sure you're following Void if you like Donkey Kong Country. Right in this category specifically. <laughs> I should have interrupted. It's my fault. Uh, that... I'll take the blame. I'll take the L there, Void. All my fault, one hundred percent. <laughs> that was a that was a new one. <laughs> I, I thought I honestly thought I could save it, but um. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, follow, follow me on Twitch, by the way. Um, yeah, like yeah, no, that, that's, that's what I was getting to. Yeah, there's a pen message in the chat. If you are somehow not following Void, you better yeah. go click that button. Oh, click that you. button. Click that button, otherwise you're going to end up like Espresso uh, ended up uh, <laughs> that previous attempt with a, a barrel straight to the face. <laughs> 
Right. Oh, you, know, what, you, know what, you know what I said like two minutes ago that this level is unplayable without espresso? Like, uh, scra scratch, uh, remove the uh, without espresso part. This level is unplayable, period. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fair. Absolutely fair. All right, but this, this, this right there is pretty much how it's supposed to go. Avoid <laughs> lose, losing your ostrich so you don't have to uh, go uh, do suspicious backups. <laughs> This is another fun one, the Croctopus Chase. And this is a level that has a whole bunch of like the, the hard up and down angles, hard right turns. And he's gonna be trying to cut every one of them as best as he can. Yep. It's tough. So that's, uh, that, that, that's, that's pretty much the only way to save time in that stage because, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, swimming in this game is really jam compared to uh, how they uh, put the swimming in DKC 2 and 3. Um, but this game is, not, not this game, but uh, this level, as a whole, it's still pretty rewarding to uh, to do if you can uh, really cut the corners and uh, save a bunch of time. Uh, this 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 level really like separates uh, the the lads from the gamers, <laughs> I'd say. And Void is, is, is definitely a gamer. Yeah. It's basically, your catchphrase at this point. <laughs> yeah. The, ca the catchphrase that I did not come up with, but that my uh, community uh, <laughs> very easily adopted. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So yeah, like the the, the best uh, runners, like if you do a, a good croctopus, then uh, you end up uh, the stage without hearing any of those uh, piano notes at the end. Like you uh, you were able to hear during the song like some piano notes. Uh, when you get to the end, the song loops back to a certain portion. Uh, where the piano notes can be heard, but like if you do the level well enough, you won't hear any piano notes. So, um, yeah, let's see if I get piano less. It's always like a nice challenge uh, to be able to get piano less in a run. Okay, that was a bad bong, so I'm not sure I'm gonna get piano less anymore, but uh, you know what? That's okay. Yeah, you got piano less in the previous level, so that was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sure did. Oh, okay, I think I'm gonna get like three pianos, two or three, judging by uh, this this cue that I got. Right, listen for it. Yep, two. Two. The man knows where the soundtrack <laughs> is. <laughs> yup, I've uh, I've played this game a good amount. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question for you all, chat, while Void just goes through the dark, dodging fire and everything with Diddy, who bounces off these enemies, which is like, this should be impossible. And Void makes it so e look so easy. It should be illegal. I, am I know, right? Uh, so. Yeah. Especially now, in What's the your dark. favorite soundtracks in the, uh, in the DKC trilogy? Like, yeah, we're, we're playing the trilogy today. Give me the full trilogy. There's one track. That isn't a water level. Ha! Got you. All of you put in aquatic ambience. I see what you're doing. <laughs> um, yeah, you can not put a water level you, track. What is it? Yeah, and you can also not put a bramble scramble. The song is no called bramble Stick scramble. Okay, no boys put that limitation. No yeah, bramble yeah. scramble. No underwater. What is it? Yeah, uh, we have to put it modifiers because there's so many good songs. I know, right? So, oh, yeah. let's go! I got that first try. All right, sick. Uh, Frame perfect, by the way. <laughs> Yep, I got, a, I got another uh, super jump roll right there. Uh, but yeah, so my favorite song in DKC2 is actually the credits song. It's called Dark Kong Rescued. Uh, I would mm -hmm. say that's my favorite in DKC2. In DKC1, my favorite song is uh, Northern Hemisphere, the song that you were able to hear in uh, 4.1 and 4.3. Yeah, it's uh, so good. It goes hard. And, oh, yeah. Um, especially like, like, you know, you never get to hear the good parts in runs. Uh, but um, like I really like whenever the the song really kicks in and like you get the like the, the guy on the piano like decides to go ham, you know? Yeah, pay no attention to the monkey on the top left of the screen. Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> apparently collision right there, so you can land there and uh, get really clean hits on the beaver whenever uh, uh, it reaches uh, the apex of its jump. All right, going on to World Five. Uh, there's another super jump roll in this level, so hopefully I get it. This is where it starts uh, really kicking off in terms of difficulty. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, dang. It was too late. Either too late or uh, my setup wasn't too good, but that's okay. Because uh, this stage is actually really impressive to watch mm -hmm. uh, when done without uh, the SGR. Yeah, this one, all of the... Uh, well, in the second half, after the halfway point, the 
barrels will be timing <laughs> whenever you get close to them. They're going to go on, they're going to go off. And you're kind of supposed to jump on them when they're off. But uh, if you just don't jump on any of them and bypass them. Also, the yeah. hitboxes, Boyd knows exactly when they turn off. And yeah! So, uh, <laughs> that was Appar apparently, I didn't know that one. But yeah, yeah. so the, the, the idea behind not getting hit by those uh, fire drums is uh, you want to be... Uh, on the edge of them like the hitbox does not extend uh to the edges so as long as you're not like jumping dead center onto the fire then you'll be good yeah, so, yeah just okay. like that and it's it it's so nerve-wracking <laughs> speaking of nerve-wracking here's the here's the sanding <laughs> there you go nice good job wow <sighs> no matter how many times i see this level like I, I just always like my heart rate jumps at the end Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean... And I'm not even the one playing, what the heck? <laughs> I understand completely. Okay, so that was the last warp barrel in the run, actually. And now, uh, elevator antics. So the most recent uh, piece of tech that got discovered in the stage, uh, we call it Antics Blaster. Uh, unfortunately, it's a coin flip, like literal coin flip. There's a 50% chance that the trick does not work. Uh, it's not like... RNG, RNG, but it's like basically RNG because like it has to do with uh, like there's no reliable setup for it. Like you have to basically load uh, a barrel uh, on a specific uh, animation of donkey's walk. So what I'm going to do in here, swapping donkey, grabbing the tin can, throwing the tin can, regrabbing it. Uh, now I'm going to clash with the invis not the invisible, but the uh, halfway barrel. Uh, and also I jumped too late. Okay, well, <laughs> I kind of I kind of messed up the ending of the setup the setup a little bit, but that's okay. I guess I was like too focused trying to explain uh, how the, how the trick works, but um, yeah, had that worked, I would have been um, basically zipped throughout the whole stage. So that would have been pretty nice. But uh, now you get to see the rest of the level in action. Yeah, the good thing about DK, like, I think this is true for the whole series, is stuff only loads like all these cycles and stuff you're seeing to my knowledge at least once it comes on screens when you start a level i don't think there's any global cycles right um outside of maybe no. the uh, blackout basement where it's just global timer on off lights yep um, exactly so as long as you're... Guard. <laughs> they knew okay, what it... they were doing yeah they it... <laughs> they knew what they were doing they they knew they knew mm -hmm. i'm not gonna make any comment other than they knew <laughs> But yeah, no, there's no, uh, there's no global timer, uh, timer or cycle or anything of the sort. Like basically, the cycles in this game start as soon as they spawn on screen. <laughs> I, I can't play. <laughs> Why, rare? Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, see, that's a cool thing about uh, the, the new trick in uh, Elevator Antics. Like, because you swap the donkey, because you're do, supposed to do the trick with donkey, that puts you uh, with do donkey in the lead, in the stage. So it's, it's, it's just very convenient, you know? It's, it's just faster overall. So I'm glad that, like, the trick got discovered so that we have donkey on on guard in the all stages speedrun. <laughs> Alright, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna do another trick. I'm gonna take damage here and now I'm rolling in midair. Alright, can you convert it to the fancy roll? Yes! Yep. <laughs> take a drink, let's go. So this is the point in the run, like whenever I hit this jump roll, I always say stay hydrated. So uh, stay hydrated gamers. Uh <laughs> please please drink lots of fluids every day. Yeah. Like how it even routes you through the halfway barrel. Yup. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. You just got to dodge that bee. So you got to hydrate fast enough to make sure you're back in time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the jump roll gives you like a good, uh, a good like 20, 25 seconds of, uh, of rest. So no problem, you know? Right. All well right. Done. Thank you. Thank you. All right. On to Blackout Basement. Oh, all right. Now I'm just going to let you take it away, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the, the, the light cycle goes on and off. Uh, every, I think, like 61 frames. It's not like quite a second, but almost. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
nice extender right there to skip the rope in case you guys uh, were able to see it <laughs> through the light cycle. Another extender right there. Skip the rope. I was able to dodge cheeky clap trap at the end, and we're done. That was a good stage, actually. Yeah, that was Very that was really clean. I I can't believe Rare put a clap trap at the end. Oh like, yeah. <laughs> so, so that's a Kaizo move right there. Now boss dumb drum. Uh, Void's gonna be trying to get a bounce to basically hit enemy two as soon as it drops out of the barrel. It's, it's also scared. Everything you do scares people. <laughs> <laughs> I well, played these this, games this, enough where everything hurts me. So. Yeah. This boss fight, thankfully, is not too scary. Uh, knock on wood. But um, yeah, like when, whenever you're in uh, the bouncing animation, actually, like in this game, that's actually uh, one thing that this game has uh, an upside over DKC 2 and 3. Like in, in the bouncing animation right there, I can literally jump into an enemy from below and I'll still uh, I'll still damage the enemy. Whereas in DKC, if I were to do this in DKC 2 or 3, I would get bodied. So. All right, and now we're in tech up trouble. Uh, this is uh, basically uh, the most infamous stage in this run because uh, you've seen me do those super jump rolls uh, earlier in the run. Uh, this level has two shots at a jump roll, uh, but the they, they both save a tremendous amount of time. Uh, the first attempt saves close to a minute. The second attempt saves about 45 seconds. So uh, I'm a lot more consistent at the second attempt. So, so I'll be going for that. So. Good but, luck. Um, yeah, uh, this is this is basically like the, the the stage that kills the runs. Yeah, and I love how it's close to the end of the game. Yep. <laughs> right, so right here. Yeah, is this ah. the longest auto scroller in the game? Uh, I. I think so, actually. I think it's uh, I think it's fast, uh, not faster. I think it's uh, longer than uh, the other one, uh, which would be a uh, trick track trick in uh, World Five, the one that uh, we ended up skipping. So that's pretty nice. I think it's a little longer. Of course, if we're talking like longest stage in the run, then it's definitely Croctopus Chase. Right. Just because there's only you can only go so fast. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we're just uh, we're just chilling, we're just rolling here, uh, hanging out, uh, grabbing some fuel tanks to stay alive. Um, Very nice. And then uh, suddenly you, you hit the nos. Yeah. <laughs> Burn it through the fuel. Oh. Okay. It's fine, no worries. All good. All good, all good. As long as I don't die at the end. <laughs> you know, you never know with Donkey. Like, we have a saying in the community that says, if you're Donkey, you're dead, so. <laughs> Alright, I didn't Ain't die. Ain't that the truth? Alright. <laughs> GG. <laughs> what a gamer. Gamer, gamer moment. Any gamers in the chat room, by the way? If if you're a gamer, or if you want to be a gamer, then uh, you know, follow me on Twitch. Click the click 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 the follow button. It would really help the stream out. But yeah, anyways, uh, manic mincers. Uh, this is the stage where you use Rambi because it's actually faster to use Rambi in this stage. Uh, unfortunately, despite my hatred for <laughs> Rambi, uh, it's actually faster to use Rambi. So. Boyd's gonna try and invent a new wrong warp just to avoid having to use Rambi in this stage. Well, <laughs> it, it, funny you say that because there is a super jump roll in this stage, but I haven't learned it yet, and it only saves uh, it saves like eight seconds, maybe, and something but, like that. But it gets rid of Rambi. It does get rid of Rambi, which is pretty <laughs> optimal if I do say so myself. But you know, you know. 
Uh, shout outs to your community void. I see a lot of void regulars here in the chats now. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. I see void them void as well. W is, void is w. fantastic. Chat, what is your favorite void emote that isn't void W? Let, let's see. Let's let's see how much we've got there. I, I love seeing every streamer's emotes. Like some of them are so creative. Some of them are just so oddly funny and amusing. Yeah. <laughs> I love my emotes. Also, nice, uh, nice trick. That's a pretty cool. Yeah, so I messed <laughs> it up a little bit. Uh, I was supposed to gain a lot more speed than that, but you know, we're just we're, we're still gonna be uh, doing the uh, doing the thing. So I I, I kind of like got a a botched version of the uh, the the. the the trick, but it still uh, brought me to the end uh, safely, and also probably faster than I would have uh, been able to do it. Unfortunately, I like how high or up you are. You just have to wait to fall. Yup, yup. So like, because I botched it, like I had no idea for how long I was supposed to hold the B button. Like the super jump, that's what it does. So as long as you hold the B button, you gain uh, as much high there as you, you want. There you go. And now we're back. Yeah. Your snakey mode so so cute. Yeah, I love I oh love my, my snake gosh, emotes. Yeah. Ratley is the best animal buddy after all. All right, so this is the last stage that has this uh, you know dark gimmick to it. Uh, this stage is pretty tough. Uh, for the all stages run, this is basically the final boss, and you'll see what I mean after that. Um, yeah, the clap traps jumping with you. Yup. But it's another one of those stages, like I mentioned Bouncy Bonanza earlier being really rewarding and impressive to uh, execute and, uh, you know, complete. Uh, this is another one of those stages. Absolutely. What are you using for visual cues to like, but like it's very dark, are you just, you know, play at high brightness and seeing it? Do you have like lights in the background, different parallax things to look for? How are you uh, keeping track of? Uh, I would say, like, I really just look at the enemies. Very but, good. like, this stage is, like, this stage is dark, but it's not, like, all as dark as uh, Blackout Basement, so I can still, like, find my way. Okay, so right there, actually, uh, I uh, I need to explain what I'm doing. Uh, well, I'm setting up, uh, right there, a trick called uh, the Split Up Glitch. And uh, I threw the barrel... And I start selected out of the level uh, when the barrel was in midair, and then after that I died. So like that completes the trick. And the next time I break open a DK barrel, it gives me control of both my Kong. So what I'm gonna be doing is grab this Kong and bring it over here, break it right before entering the bonus, and now I'm done with the level. So what? Uh, hey, wait, what? Oh. <laughs> that, that, that seems like cheating. Oh, it hella is cheating. <laughs> it hella is cheating. This is this is the most cheater trick in this whole run. And, uh, you know, the, this, this run with, like, you know, map warp and, like, 10,000 jump rolls that save a ton of time each, you know. But this is, like, the most cheater trick. And, like, despite me taking a detour into Manic Mincers to set up the trick and then go back on the overworld to uh, Platform Perils to actually do the wrong warp. Like, it still saves like 25 seconds. It saves a ton of time. That's actually incredible, yeah. Because, uh... Just, yeah, all the setup time, you could have been doing the stage, but, you know, there's only, you can only go so fast in Platform Peril as well, um, given the structure of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's also, like, a really hard stage to go through. All right, so Wait, ever, ever since I started watching you, I, I gotta time my jumps to K roll because it just gives me happiness. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. <laughs> this, this, is, this is literally like one of my favorite things to do in this whole run. <laughs> like you basically mock K roll because, like, yeah. you know, this, 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 this boss fight is kind of a meme, let's be honest. Like, you know, rare, 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 rare boss fight. Like, oh, okay, he, do, he, do, he does one thing, uh, you bounce on him, and then he does uh, the, the other thing, except uh, longer, and then except you bounce twice. on him. Yeah, yeah exactly. There is some tech to this uh, boss fight, like, you really want to, like, bounce on Kiro as soon as available to save the most time. Alright, that's it, that's the run! GG! Yeah, GG! Well done! Yay! 
So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, DKC1. Uh, after DKC1, uh, we'll be doing DKC2. So DKC2 is like really uh, the game that took DKC's core mechanics and uh, ideas and uh, really improved on them, which is like really awesome uh, mm -hmm. to see. And it's also my favorite speed wait, game on the Super on? Nintendo. What's... And yeah, what's going what? on? Wait, oh, wait, he's alive! What? Wait, what? I guess I guess we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Uh, undo the timer. Undo the timer. <laughs> All right, now we're done for real. GG. <laughs> GG. You can tell it's we're done because you got the banana. Yep, exactly. <laughs> the banana is the indicator. <laughs> that, that, that was the tell. <laughs> oh shout, my shout, gosh. Shout, shout, shout outs to, uh, to Nukes, by the way, because uh, she, she had me on for uh, her show, Victory Lap, a while ago, and I was able mm -hmm. to juke her with uh, the, the, the fake credits. That was really fun. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's wonderful. Like... It, it's a joke that never dies for me. Anyway, Void, your final time, 35-49. Not so oh, bad, Void. Not, not bad so at all, yeah. <laughs> I had, had some kind of gross mistakes, but at the same time, like I got some really hype stuff throughout the run, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys will stick around for DKC2, because DKC2, like I mentioned, is a pretty dope. So, so Void, I, I got a proposition for you. You got a proposition for me. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. So you're, you're very, very good at Donkey Kong, at, at the whole series. You've you got like 10 years of experience in this. But mm -hmm. I've been spending the last month practicing Donkey Kong Country 2, specifically for today. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Now, now, I don't think I can beat you in a fair fight, but what, okay, here, so here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. If you're now, if you're okay with this, I'm gonna run any percents. That's like includes all the wrong warps and other warps, but you have to run warpless. What do you say? I, I, I think that may actually be a fair fight. I need all the help I can get, so I need to be literally cheating and stop Void from cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, little do you know, uh, but uh, Warpless has some cheating of its own. But uh, I am more than up for the challenge. All right, everybody, I'm going to go get DKC2 set up. And after this, Void and I are going to be racing any percent versus Warpless. Don't go anywhere. Thank you all so much for watching DKC1. More Donkey Kong Country action happening soon. Don't go anywhere. is indeed live for Awesome Games Done Quick 2024. So if you would like to attend the event in person from January 14th to 21st, head on over to gamesdonequick.com. Over there you can log into your account, register for the events, and everything will be taken care of. We'd love to have you at our new location in Pittsburgh. It's going to be super, super awesome. But Void! Yes! How are you, how are you feeling about this race? Who do you think is going to win? Uh, who do I think is going to win? Uh, the viewers, of course. The viewers are going to be seeing <laughs> some fresh DKC2 action. Any percent versus Warpless, you're going to be able to see two different runs, uh, different kinds of strats, different kinds of cheating. Uh, it, will, it should be a really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm allowed to cheat a lot. Uh, Void's allowed to cheat a tiny bit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good way to uh, put it, yeah. Yeah, let's see if we get like a channel point then, because I, I, I love channel point gambling. Who is going to win? Me or Void? Who's going to be? Remember, we're running different categories. Void has more experience, but I get to cheat more, so hopefully we'll be able to get it. Anyway, viewers, you are going to win the poll, or the uh, channel point bet is live. Get your points in on the yeah. victor. Put your Void, channel points I'm going to give you the in. honors. Yeah, get, get your channel points in. Big money on... <laughs> yeah, big, big uh, prediction on the, on the yeah, line. Yeah. <laughs> on the so, line. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, so I give you guys a countdown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and count us in. I'm on the one, yeah. like, picking one player. Mm -hmm. All right, sweet. So you're, 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 you're in the right spot. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Any percent versus Warpless, uh, Gamer Void versus Gamer Fent in <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Smooth. 
All right, good luck. Good luck, good so luck. So right off yeah. the gate, I'm going to be jumping into a warp barrel as soon as I grab Dixie. So, so this will be fun. And Boyd yeah. is not allowed to use them. <laughs> not allowed. Nope, I have to be the stage from start to finish. Uh-huh. So the first two worlds in this game, uh, for whatever reason, uh, DKC3 is also, also the same about this, have warps near the start of the level that take it to the end. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hopefully, ideally pulling ahead here at the start, and um, <laughs> then Boy's gonna be through his cleaner movement catching up throughout the <laughs> the rest of that. That's the game plan, at least. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yo, I'm jib jib jig's done for me. Let's go. I'm winning. <laughs> for now. Massive gaming. All right, cool. All right. I didn't lose a Kong. Let's go, GG. Yeah. Now there is actually in this next level here a pretty cool jump you can do to get into the warp barrel a little bit earlier. It's kind of hard, and I don't get it too often because I bonked. No worries. Got the backup, so lost like a second there, but we're through. Thanks for racing me, boy. Yeah. Thank you as well for racing me and for having me. Mm -hmm. I have been doing my homework on this game. Yeah, I was telling fans when uh, we were setting up for this that uh, it always makes me really happy to see uh, new runners uh, of uh, the DKC series. Uh, like, I've been around for so long, like, it's always uh, awesome to see uh, fresh blood. And at the same time, like, people just picking up games that I like so much, like part of my childhood. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I almost got hit on uh, on the crow here. Now, we have we have over a million points in the, <laughs> the channel. That's point, what I like to hear. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Big can, money can we get on the, the two line. million points put in there? Oh my goodness! All right, I got one fake egg. Let's, let's see who wins this. Two fake eggs. It's fifty fifty. Three. Oh my god. Not too hot for me, Void. Okay. Uh, the, see, see, my boy Crow is gonna bail me out. Yeah, I got three fake eggs total. Uh, three's not bad. But I am through uh, well, world one. <laughs> also, really... chat, you should be voting for Void. <laughs> <laughs> you should I really be voting like, for Void. I keep uh, Ratley for uh, for this, but uh, I guess uh, I guess I don't have uh, Ratley anymore. Uh, he he left. He left me. Okay, I'm kind of making a mess of this. So there are a couple wrong warps that you can do in World 1 and 2 that save a little bit of time. Uh, I am not gamer enough to go for those yet. <laughs> um, but I'm going to do something kind of cool here, hopefully. I'm going to chuck Diddy at this guy, and I messed it up. Okay. I was trying to do a... You know the super jump. <laughs> and uh, hit the warp, and... Uh-oh. Oh, okay, oh yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the team throw super jump in Cannon's mm -hmm. play. Yep. I missed it. I guess minor note, I'm playing on the Japanese 1.1 version of this game. There aren't too many differences, but... Uh, yeah, there's very, 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 very few differences. Uh, it's actually going to be uh, noticeable uh, on the, the version I'm playing. Um, since I'm, I'm, I'm doing Warpless, you guys will be able to see like a few areas where uh, there are some differences between uh, English and Japanese. I only got one fake. Pretty good, though. Yo, GG. Yeah, so every fake egg that you get on Crow, depending on the phase that you get it on, uh, loses two or three seconds, so it really adds up. Uh... <laughs> Just yesterday, someone got 18 fakes. Oh my gosh. And posted about it, but that's like... It's almost like kind of a, a reward when you get like a huge number of fakes uh, from Crow because it doesn't happen that often. Like it's it's very common to get like between like you know uh, zero fakes and four fakes, but like getting anything in the double digits is like really insane. And I had a couple <laughs> that got up to like seven or eight, um, but yeah, it it only takes like a second or two to happen. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, got my banana coin to pay off grandma for college. 
All right, I'm heading into a Cleaver's boss fight. So worlds one and two go very, very fast in any percent because of all these warps. Um, but after this, my number of warps are going to dry up really quickly. You're, you're going to see Void, you know, get back into it pretty quickly. <laughs> Closing the gap, perhaps, mm. yeah. This stage is actually really cool when you don't do it warpless. Uh, since like most vertical stages are really cool to do uh, in the warpless category, uh, there were a few of them in World One, uh, but this one has a couple of skips that are uh, really cool uh, to mm -hmm. do using the team throw mechanic. And me right here, so I'm gonna lure this bird and team throw up there. Skips having to. Uh, go around to the right and right here I'm gonna do the same thing and do it again after bouncing on this guy's shoulder and that's it I got two more hits on Cleaver you're gonna see Void do uh, some pretty cool strats here where's my cannonball <laughs> I may die on the fight uh oh my boy Cleaver bailing me out <laughs> Yeah, I died. I couldn't get under him. Oh my god. No! <laughs> it's Jover. I died on the last hit. Oh, that's huge. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. See, all you people I warned you not to vote for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting all of your delicious points. Okay, I'm actually just gonna make it close. Take it a little safety so I don't lose Dixie. I've been I've been running this game for a month. I want y'all to know that. Throwing for Kong tents. Yes. Hey. Absolutely. I'm just I'm just making Void think he has a chance, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, so this next stage, uh, Red Hot Ride, is kind of insane to do um, in Warpless. Uh, you'll see what I mean. So this is a stage uh, where Rambi is in, uh, and you have those hot air balloons. And uh, Rambi's charge in this game, as you probably noticed in 1-1, one -one, is uh, pretty, uh, pretty dang fast. Okay, I'm through, though it got scary. <laughs> nice. Make, make sure you go uh, pretty, pretty, pretty zoom zoom. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, right here, uh, so I'm gonna dismount Rambi, get this beetle. All right. I did not put any of my own channel points into the pool because I didn't want to. I'm not gonna, you know, this is you know it's illegal betting on games nice. you're a, you can influence. Like yeah, you don't it, do it, that. Yeah. It, it, it's called it's called a conflict of interest. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. That's, that's bad. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, uh, you can move the signpost uh, behind where you were, and by doing so, you can finish the rest of the stage with Rambi, and it saves a ton of time. I think this, the Warpless strat, like going through that level with Rambi, uh, instead of not going through the level with Rambi, saves like 30 seconds. And it's okay. also really impressive to watch. GG is. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So actually, I'm not going for the team throw well. super jump here, because I've never been able to hit it. Well, I hit it once, but I'm very inconsistent. <laughs> You're going to see Void uh, probably collect that G up there that I just collected. Oh like yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> collecting the G is mandatory. Like, if I don't, if I don't collect the G, <laughs> like, you basically already won the race since you collected the G. Yeah. You know, like, I, I have to make that up. All right, so gamer Cleaver. Uh, there is a strat that I can do on Cleaver called Lava Fly. It saves about four seconds. If I die, uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, but I'm a gamer, so I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's like, it's a strat that like, I like to point to as like, you know, uh, 
risk versus reward in this game, like, it's, it's just, like, kind of insane. Like, strats that say, like, very little, and when you fail them, they lose so much. But, uh, yeah, I got it, no problem, so that's nice. Gee, gee. See, everybody, that's how Cleaver should be done. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, pay no attention to the fact that... Alright, flying Diddy for the fans. Fine, I need Dixie selected anyway. Gamer Void. I just entered wall three, so I'm catching up, I'm catching up. <laughs> That's okay, because Fant, Fant will be able to do uh, some cheating in World 3. A little bit. Another use of Randy's charging. All right. Through the swimming level. Very nice. Yeah, the, the death on Cleaver definitely didn't help. No, yeah, definitely. That's okay, I'll, I'll die at some point to make up for it. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if I get the G. So, damage boost right there. I did not. Alright, well, it's it, it's over. Fant wins. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> let's go! Alright, pay it up. Don't, don't pay it up, but pay it up! <laughs> no, yeah, no, don't pay it up. <laughs> I use baby Dixie strats on this level because it scares me. Yeah, Crockett Climber is uh, basically like the, the the really like the first really scary platforming stage in the run. Mm -hmm. Didn't like that at all. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Not dead! Not dead yet! We're fine! Safe. We're safe! <laughs> I need the slime climb long warp to go my way. Yeah, that, 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 that will uh, definitely help offset the death on Cleaver. Alright. Ratley! It's a good, a great, great track here. My favorites. Yep. Any uh, any void haps in the chat room actually? Since we're all uh, we're all big fans of uh, Ratley, the best animal buddy. Die to the halfway point. That's good. Oh, right, I slipped. <laughs> there, there it is. There's the death. <laughs> All right. Stay ahead. Yep. A little bit of a death that was like right after halfway, but still. I'm not as good with Ratley, uh, so I'm kind of taking my time here. All right, we're clear. Nice. All right, slime climb. Uh, this is going to be really, really fun. <laughs> yeah, it's either if really, really it. fun or uh, really, or really terrible. unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now I did the strat properly. Uh, it was unfortunate. Well, I got some. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of drawing a blank on uh, how to do uh, this level, the, the second half of uh, Crockett Climber Warpless. Uh -oh. But uh, we, we got it, we got it. Just, just took a couple deaths to offset it. Oh yeah, by the way, yes, thank you for the shout out. By the way, uh, you guys should follow me if you want to become <laughs> more, uh, an even stronger and better gamer than you already might be. 
Uh, and also, if you like Donkey, uh, I've been playing a lot of Donkey on stream recently, and also a bunch of uh, really cool uh, casual games uh, like uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Have you been playing uh, Wonder, Fent? I haven't gotten to it yet. It's fun. Well, I would recommend. I'm going to try and go for it. Got the Clash. Come on, I need this. Dang, I didn't get the wrong orb. It's okay, no. we'll, go, we'll go out. <laughs> you saw a little bit. You saw Dixie holding nothing with her hair, so now I gotta actually do this. Void may pass me in this stage. I'm about halfway through uh, Rattle Battle right now. But I still have to do uh, Slime Climb, and I'll have to do it uh, the same way you're doing it, so... Mm -hmm. no, no, no real advantage there. Other than just general better movement. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'll, uh, I guess I'll talk about the water swap glitch. So if I swap underwater and then after that take damage, I get a big boost. Probably saw it on fan screen, but uh, a, a little a mini version of it. <laughs> a mini version of it. All right. Yeah. The, the reason why it happens is because you swap underwater. Now, as to why it happens, I All can right. tell you. I'm going into Bramble Blast. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> or as, in Japanese, it is known as Sharp Barrel Maze, which still makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're, you're, you're still liking that name. <laughs> It's so funny. It shouldn't be as funny as it is, but it's funny. Sh sharp barrel maze. Uh, but like, what is sharp? I guess the brambles are the sharp. Brambles are pretty sharp, yeah. Yeah. Focusing, <laughs> remembering where I'm going, you know. Yup. So every time you roll, you see me uh, shoot out of a barrel without the barrel changing directions, uh, it's what we call a quick shot, and it's a three frame window. Uh, lots of them in the first half, not so much in the second half, but in the second half, I have this trick coming up called Vine Clip. No, he's doing the Vine Clip! I can't do the Vine Clip, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you, do, you can do May Skip, right? So, that right now, actually. Nice. I missed <laughs> oh, oh, it's oh, all oh. over. It's, Lead it's to Joel void. Bird. Yep. It's so over. You, you, you know what we call the section fan that you're in right now? What? We call it the maze of shame. No. Yeah. Yeah. Accurate. <laughs> but uh, the the tip that I give everyone to get through it is uh, you follow the bananas. By process of elimination. Uh, All right. You should be able to navigate it pretty easily. Look, I warned you. Anyway, I'm in the boss. <laughs> All right, we're tied. Then. We're on the same level. Now here's the thing, chat. I don't know about um, the breathe strats, so my my throws are gonna be a little bit slower. So you'll probably see Void uh, pull further ahead in this with the the optimal hits. Yeah. So. What you basically want to do is grab, you, like I grab the TNT barrel, and then right after grabbing it, I move to the right. Now there release. are some big warps later on in the run. Yep. Like maybe bring it back, we'll see. This is why Void is the game master, and I just host it. The game master, the game master of three games, because after this, uh, I'll be doing Donkey Kong Country 3. Mm -hmm. And that's another game that has uh, cheating. So, uh, yeah, you, you, be you better prepare for that, gamers. <laughs> I will be going for another wrong warp in uh, World 4. <laughs> And Bramble Scramble. That's a good one. Yep. Saves quite a bit of time as well. 
Yeah, close to a minute if you get it first try. I'm on final hits. All right, I'm d I'm out. I'm out of world three. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, right now I'm going. I'm about to go for a trick called scroll scroll. It saves like hardly anything, but still. It looks cool. so cool. I'm going for it too. Absolutely. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> What's your PB in this category? Uh, in this category, my PB is... God, do I remember what it is? <laughs> I think it's like 48-48 or something like that. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, right? Um, there is a strat in Castle Crush that you can do in Warpless. It's not a warp. It's not a wrong warp, but it's insanely difficult to do. We call it the Castle Climb. That's an ex a strat exclusive to the 1.0 version. But because of how hard it is, and because I'm not practiced with it right now, uh, I'm playing on the 1.1 version. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to go for that. So I'm going to be riding my, uh, my Castle Crush uh, the natural way, uh, whereas uh, Fant will be actually going for a Gold Summon. Uh, you guys will be able to see once we get to World 6. But uh, yeah, all of this to say that uh, because I'm playing on 1.1, uh, uh, I, I, I'm i not going to like be locked into uh, a potential PB by uh, any means because of the fact that I cannot go for that strat, but... Um, Alright, I got the scrolly scroll, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. And I don't know what I'm... I guess I'm taking the B-boost here. Alright. We're fine! Yeah, I will be summoning the goal. Hopefully, I'm there before Void finishes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm happy I got the scrolly scroll. That, that, that's very, very fun. Good job, me. Yeah, well done. All right, so after this race level um, comes another wrong warp attempt. Yep, which I will not be able to go for. Instead, uh, you guys will be able to see uh, pretty much like one of the hardest levels to execute in this game. Mm -hmm. Banger of a track here. Yeah, this control has grown on me over uh, the years. I used to really not think much of it. Ooh, okay. Alright, got bonus skip. Let's go. I missed my barrel. Okay, that's not good. Nobody ever dies in this stage. Nah. DK coin, because he got it? Not even once. Now, I'm not going to go for the swag one up here. Yeah, I, cons I consider, you know, like, maybe uh, trying to bribe Chad into uh, going for it, but I was already, like, halfway <laughs> through the level. Like, you know, the same way I did at the uh, Spear and Coliseum and then ended yeah. up uh, not going back into the level. Nope, not doing that one right there. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be getting Dixie back in uh, the start of Ramble Scrambles. No big deal. All right, here we go. The Ramble Scramble, wrong warp. Can I pull it off? Yeah, if Fan can pull it off, she's gonna make up a lot of time. I gotta position that hook very carefully, spawn that barrel. Grab this beetle, get in this corner. And I, I missed, I'm gonna go for it one more time. Unfortunate. My, uh, my any percent PB is at a uh, 5759, so. Boy, definitely with the advantage here. I was, I was, I was playing on the on the rust potential because you haven't <laughs> rehearsed this category too much. But you've been playing this game for ten years. It turns out you're still pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It t t turns out it doesn't take me too long to uh, shake up the rust. No, I'm too late. I go one more time. I, I, I want to get this done. Sometime. 
<laughs> yeah, it's 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 a it's a great wrong warp to showcase, and it also saves a ton of time. Like, yeah, I, I think like even if uh, you're going for it uh, third try, like you, sh you should still save some time. Alrighty, this is the one. This is it. <laughs> All right. Void showcasing why. <laughs> the best. That one I was a little bit too far right. Uh, but if I do this right, Dixie's going to be holding nothing when I get into that corner. Yep, and then he can use the invisible object with the bonus to, uh... Oh. Long warp out of there. All right. Okay, it's okay, everybody. Yeah, nobody panic. Nobody panic. Everything's fine. Yeah, nobody panic. Like, I'm, I'm doing a hard stage. Nobody panic. <laughs> Pan's gonna get that wrong warp. Nobody panic. Making rookie mistakes here. It's okay. All right. <laughs> Pretty good, All mud right. hole much. Right, so right here, uh, another skip that I'm gonna be doing, which is uh, not, a, not a warp, not a warp. Huh? Good luck. Doing a team throw. Oh, okay, I messed it up. That's okay, there's a backup that I can do. Involves this roll right here. So now I've skipped a bunch of the level <laughs> by doing the... I got it, I'm out. Okay, there we go, there's the wrong warp. Let's go! <laughs> See, I, I couldn't do it. I lost a, an immense amount of time, but we did it! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Gaming. Very, very cool trick. I mean, I'm in Rambi Rumble right now, like, and like we all know uh, that uh, Rambi sucks. So yeah, Rambi's terrible. Yeah, something something bad might happen. Like you know, the king chasing me, for example. Uh oh. You missed it. Can I do it again? Look, maybe Void should go back there before doing. Uh, King Zang and showcase it done very quickly. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. If 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 someone if someone uh, gifts uh, me and Fant uh, a sub to Games Done Quick, I will go back to Bramble Scramble and do the wrong one. Chad, I need this. Force them to do other things. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd control moment. Let's go. You have the opportunity. Everybody who voted for me on channel points. <laughs> All right. Oh. Now my turn at Muckle Marsh. Just sub to twitch.tv slash voice slash subscribe instead. I mean, on honestly, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should, yeah. I have some good emotes. I, I make some good content. Uh, yeah, please, uh, please follow me on Twitch yeah. and uh, improve improve your gaming uh, abilities. <laughs> you can become a gamer like Void, just yeah. like me, just like fans. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, okay. I actually never like figured that. out how to do this part well. So, <laughs> uh, which parts? Uh, the mud hole marsh, the one with the... All the birds everywhere, you know? Oh, yeah, that's a tough section. We call that section uh, the, the eagle pit. Even though, uh, you know, the, the crows aren't eagles, but... Close enough, you know? Yeah. They're, they're birds. <laughs> they're, they're bird... They're, they're eagle adjacent, you know? Yeah, exactly. I almost fell into it. Okay. 
I did get a couple subs in the channel. Oh, heck yeah. I don't think enough to make you go back, but it's, uh... I tried. I tried to sell out. This is, this is where I plead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, my turn at random. I'm assuming you went for the... the big, uh, team throw. Uh, I did, but I did not get it, so I had to go for a backup. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try doing that here. Um, I got the team, but I didn't get high enough. So you need to be very high, because the way the games load is very silly. Yeah, so essentially the team throw will give you uh, extra height, and the game did not take that into account. Uh, so when... Uh, when they were designing the level, so you can just load uh, the hook sooner mm -hmm. and end up grabbing the hook as a result. Pretty cool. A lot of interesting quirks in this game. Yeah. All right. That bee that, that bee that I just took damage on in uh, Haunted Hall, actually, that that, that bee, like that, you saw that there was another bee right next to it. Uh, that's a uh, quirk of the uh, English version. The Japanese version only has one bee. That's super interesting. That Rambi Rumble's so cool. So you kind of like go neutral on the D-pad. So you just like continue going right after you fall down. So that's how that momentum is preserved. Okay. Good enough, we're, we're out. Now, King Zing. I have a relationship with this boss void. I'm not sure if oh, you know. Oh, do you? Yeah. This boss sucks. This boss, this <laughs> boss does suck, but it's it, like... It's the worst, yeah. It's, 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 it's At the same time, it's one of the more interesting boss fights in this run. Mm -hmm. I already took a hit, which isn't great for me. I just... <laughs> no! <laughs> it's okay. It's immediately. It's, it's immediate. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Right there, uh, team throwing into the barrel to set up a uh, goal swap at the end of the stage, which saves a little bit of time. You have to wait for the win cycle anyways. There you go. All right. And now, Parachute Panic. Oh, this level's so dang cool. This is a fan favorite, at least to witness uh, and also to execute as a runner. It feels very rewarding when you can nail uh, everything, which uh, I kind of messed up right now, but it's okay, we're gliding. Whee! I was supposed to land on the ledge and then roll off the ledge, but uh, I'm just gonna take it easy. There we go. Till this point, we'll glide here, get past the halfway parrot. There you go. This is the hard section. I'm gonna land here, roll off, align myself with the wall, and Land there because there's just enough space without All taking right. damage. A little bit of glide, take damage, and now I can skip the whole rest of the stuff. Oh, boy, it's so cool, GGs. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> except for that, that part that I messed up, the rest of the stage was good. Hey, you, you, I, I did good except when I did bad. That's crazy, right? I know, right? <laughs> another, another pretty dang cool and impressive stage. To witness I'm, and to execute. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying some of that. <laughs> some of what now? Oh, the the, the parachute panic. And... Yeah. So if you want to yeah. see uh, it done not as good, I'll, I'll be there in a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In, th in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna be working on Webwoods. This this is a pretty infamous run killer uh, in this run. But it, it's another stage that feels really good to pull off. So I can press L and R at the same time to do uh, what we call instant webs. So like that web platform that spawned like right over me and made me fall to my death. Uh, that's done by pressing L and R at the same time. Okay, there we go. This run so takes so much focus. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 
This game is hard. Little, little did you guys know uh, in the chat room, but uh, this game, this game is pretty hard. Like casually, it's hard, and spearing it is even harder. All right. So if you saw the bees, and when Void was here, you're gonna see on mine, my end, there's gonna be a different amount of bees. You're gonna see the difference real time. Not the bees. Where did that bee no. go? Yeah, where did it go? All right, bonus skip, let's go. <laughs> For the longest time, I would always just jump straight into that first bonus, kind of like out of instincts. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> the classic. The classic. I think you were watching one of my streams once when it happened. It's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Absolute banger of a track as well. The funny thing too is like when you jump into the first bonus, like sometimes people will just like try to jump again and they'll end up jumping into the second into the bonus. Into the other bonus. Instead, <laughs> you know, losing even more time. It's actually just really amusing that they that, that's one of the I think the most clever bonus locations. Oh yeah, definitely. Cause you wouldn't you wouldn't think that the, the card can ride on top of that uh, wooden structure, you know, but mm -hmm. it can. All right, here we go. One B. Like, good thing, good thing too, because I got hit. So. <laughs> yeah. I, like, we, uh, in the community, we like making the joke that even though in the Japanese version, there's only one B, that B's hitbox is like twice it's as twice large. It's twice as big, yeah. Yup, yup, yup. I can confirm. I get hit by that B like 50% of the time. <laughs> All right, so right here I'm gonna do uh, more cheating. So Arctic Abyss has a trick that we call Arctic Zip. It's not a warp, but it's a zip. So I'll be uh, I'll be attempting it. Uh, it says about 15 seconds, but it's really hard to do because what you have to do is lure this lockjaw over to uh, roughly uh, around the part where the Angar Barrel is. Here and then swap as Lodja is about to take to uh, damage you, and then you can zip through the ice block and right onto the goalpost, uh, which is located right above the entrance at the start of the stage and is already loaded. Like, if the goalpost was not loaded at the start of the level, this trick would not be possible. Super, super cool. Yeah. Alrighty. The the wind woods, as they are in uh, Japanese, are very fun. The wind woods, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Japanese level names, like they they, they kind of like get straight to the point. They're extremely literal, like all the way yep. across. Like you name a level, you can probably predict what it's gonna actually be. Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, uh, guess guess what the Webwoods level name is in Japanese? Like, you know, the, the level that is uh, a forest and you have to navigate through the forest with the spider? Yeah, it's called Spider Forest. Crazy, yep. right? No so, joke, that's it. It's it's yep. called Spider Forest. <laughs> yep. All right. My, my turn at Parachute Panic. Good luck, good luck. Woo! I kind of just learned a lot of this the other uh, the other day, but it still looks cool, I think. So. Mm -hmm. Like any strat that involves skipping the parrots in that stage looks impressive. So, but yeah, this is a, this is actually like a really good moment for you guys to uh, watch what Fant is doing because uh, so Castle Crush is a close to five minute long auto scroller that I cannot uh, skip or uh, glitch in any way, shape or form right now. So this is kind of like the, the break time for me. But uh, it's a good, it, it, it's like right, at the right moment in the run mm -hmm. because Fant is about to be doing uh, some of the most exciting stages in the run, so. Okay. It's okay, I got hit there, but luckily there's a conveniently placed barrel there. So if you do get hit, it's not, not the end of the world. Which All right, can I close fence? it out? <laughs> Got the bonk. Let's go! Oh, Very got nice. it! <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you really nailed that last part. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun when you, when you get it right. Woo! Parachute <laughs> panic is incredible. 
yeah. I was just about to like read that comment that I saw in chat, but like I just wanted to let you focus. Uh, but like, yeah, which level is called Fant retakes the lead in Japanese? Uh, <laughs> it would probably be the level that I'm on, Castle Crush, because uh, when Fant gets there, uh, she'll be able to go for, uh, like I mentioned earlier, a gold summon, um, which saves like minutes, like several minutes. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm on Webwoods. Uh, I'm not going to be doing the debut strategies that you saw Void do, uh, simply because I'm just not good enough to do them. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be going as fast as, as I normally do. I'm going to baby it a little bit, though. Oh, I didn't get a, a web out. <laughs> Uh, if you yeah, jump too no. early, if you jump too early, your web just won't come out. Because um, there is a timer between when you have to do them. I just, I got too aggressive. Yeah, Fine, exactly. Like if, if, you, if you try to do uh, instant webs uh, too uh, close to one another, uh, the second one is just not going to spawn. It's one of those uh, quirky uh, spider mechanics in this game. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Shooting the webs is, is indeed hard. Yeah. My life definitely did get changed uh, with the L and R tech. Oh, yeah. I think I was the one to uh, tell you that, wasn't I? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe maybe it was. Uh, I think it was else. actually at like um, it may have been at SRC. Oh, mayhaps yeah. <laughs> or maybe like it was someone else because I, I I definitely have told people in the past that like yes you can make spider webs with L and R instead of just A. Because it's kind of awkward to like try to navigate web woods trying to make uh, platforms with A while also trying to dispatch a bunch of you know birds and. Uh, cannon guys and hook guys. I'm getting very deliberate here. <laughs> Then I always take this top one a little bit slow because you're at the top of the um, the level. So you're gonna bonk there and it really messes with your height. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That, it turns out there is a ceiling, believe it or not, mm -hmm. in that stage. You, you hit the canopy. Yeah. See, I'm just I'm doing big, uh, slow stress. I see the, the slow cannonball, which I always find super amusing. Access the bonus. Yep. Alright, I'm I'm almost out of this mess. There's the final beam. My my casual strats here. Yeah, there's just one more gap. <laughs> yep. All right, nice. we're, we're, we're out. I'll at least be in castle before you finish, so. What well, level are you on? Are you on, are you on Toxic Power name. yet? Are you on the sprint? Uh, I just got done with Castle Crush, so right now I'm on Clapper's Cavern. Well, you'll, you'll make it to wall six. You, you should definitely be able to showcase the uh, gold summon. For sure. This boss always scares me. You're you're exercising a ghost, you know. Yeah, I mean it's it's a tough boss fight. Uh, not because of like the the patterns that it does, but because of the rope climbing sections. It really is. So yeah, pretty efficient use right there of that uh, invisible um, invincibility barrel to just clear. The right, the, the last section. 
Alright, so this is one of the coolest stages in the Warpless run. Uh, Fant is gonna be wrong warping through the stage. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's right the lots of rope climbing through it, also and it's <laughs> also like one of the most uh, rewarding stages to really pull off. Now, um, Void showed you what the the Arctic Zip looked like, uh, so I'm going to show you what the Unguard Strap looks like. Yep. So, this, this is something you don't see too often, aka casual strat. You all at home, if I if you see me do something, you all at home, you can do it as well. Just a lot of, like, using the, the A button for on guard. Yeah, another reason why on guard in this game is better than on guard in DKC1, because of the charge ability. Mm-hmm. All right, good. Sometimes you get time. hit there, so that's good. Yep. So this stage, and this section in particular, is like the whole reason why Ratley is the best animal buddy. I, I just love Ratley's uh, jumping abilities, and it saves a ton of time throughout the section. It's also really impressive to look. Yeah, like doing those double jumps that you're seeing Void do is like, that's not easy. That That is not easy at all. Nah, especially not chaining like so many of them Back to back to back, you know, and like without uh, without fail. Very very impressive stuff. This is actually a test. This is a test for Void. I need to make sure Void was still good at this game. Wait, what? Okay, all right. Um, in order to it's, you it, know it, be worthy of being on on the show. On Game Masters, yeah. It, it, it sounded like something happened on your end. Yeah, um, I'm getting kind of bodied by the wind not cooperating. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, that was a pretty good Toxic Tower. Very nice. It, 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 it is my favorite stage in the run, so I'm always happy whenever I, uh, I get a, a clean uh, attempt at it. And it's also like one of those stages that I, uh, <laughs> I, I keep, I keep telling uh, runners of the game like if you want to improve uh, and you want to really like get a strong PB, like just practice Toxic Tower because when you get to World Six on pace, like one, like once once you have put enough practice in Toxic Tower, like you will be rewarded for it. One of the coolest stages, I think. Oh yeah. Also, it, it kind of sucks it's the last one of the last big one of the run, <laughs> but either way, it's it's just always fun to show off. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. So you can skip racing that bird by just flying over it. Easy peasy. The way I did it, I did it without uh, turning around, but like, there's just like a lot of ways to uh, to skip the race. You can, like damage boost on the brambles. You can just like slow down and really like carefully fly over it. All right. One Kong windy well is always spooky. Oh Got yeah. One more B to dodge. We're safe. I took that very slow. <laughs> yep, I saw that. Very Didn't nice. die! Woo! That's how we do it. Yep. All right. Um, so make, you, so you will make be sure able I almost to went in without getting summon. the Kong. Yeah, I need to get the Kong. So I'm going to be doing the goal summon. Um, and you can see, you you were staring at Boy for a long time uh, <laughs> in Castle Crush. And hopefully for me, you're not going to watch nearly as much of it. So we want both Kongs here. And you know, I'll just mention at the start what needs to happen. Uh, but outside of that, I'll hand it back over to Void, who's on K roll at this point. Very nice. Yeah, I am on K roll, but uh, the, the, the start uh, is very straightforward. Uh, that cycle I was on right there was the only cycle with uh, a little bit of RNG. Sometimes you can pick up uh, the left cannonball, other times you pick up the right cannonball, but it doesn't really matter. 
uh, because you have to wait until uh, Carol starts using his gun to really suck up the uh, cannonball. So I've got this DK barrel. I need to escort this barrel up to a very specific portion of the level. I'm going to use it to get an invisible barrel, and then hopefully the, the goal is just going to show up. So I'm going to place it down. So most of the, the trick here is just making sure you don't lose that barrel, you, you don't lose your cons. Yep. So. And the reason, you need, to deal with. the reason you need to have both Kongs and to keep the DK barrel is because uh, if you only have one Kong, then the DK barrel won't be empty. You need the DK barrel to be empty. Mm. All right, trust, hold right. Just trust. B's going to be fine. All right, this is the point. I'm going to wait for a specific spot. Got the invisible barrel. Now I'm going to go over to the left. There's the goal. And we're out. Nice. That, that cut off several minutes <laughs> over, mm -hmm. uh, over what, uh, what Void was doing. Three minutes of playtime. Absolutely. Like, li 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 literally, like, I'm not just quoting Spider Man, but it fits. Now I'm on the last uh, phase of K rule. Why, well, you know, second to uh, last phase. I'm gonna get through those uh, purple, like colored smokes. This one, this one is red. The next cycle will have purple smokes. The smokes do uh, different effects uh, when you collect them, but you don't want to collect them because it's slower. This one would reverse your controls. You go from Castle Crush to the ice level, whatever this is called. Um, it's like yeah, Ice Lake in, uh, <laughs> in Japanese. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it is called Ice Lake. All right, that's time for me. All right, GG. Well done, Void. Nice run. I was, it was my hubris thinking I could I could beat you. <laughs> but you are just in time for the Chain Link Chamber wrong warp. Uh, so this is yeah, a you're, you're on Chain Link Chamber. Cool thing, yeah. Uh, so... I'm going to go over to this bonus barrel. We'll see if I can do a first try. It's a little bit precise, but uh, I'm gonna grab this cannonball, kill that guy, uh, hold left, go over here, go over here, bop this guy, turn around. I didn't get it. Um, let's go ahead and reset and try it again. What is our time at, by the way? What, 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 what was our time updates? All right. So 52 minutes, is, this is honestly pretty close to a PB for me. So. <laughs> it's not going to PB, but it is pretty close. It is close, yeah, for sure. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Ghost again. Again, the, the, the timings, you, you saw, this is also one of the longer levels uh, to go through. But I'm going to try and summon a, a cannon with a cannonball. This is really what I'm doing here. All right, this is the one, Void, I believe. Yep, I believe as well. Ooh, yeah. Nope. Far. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I went uh, not far enough, I think. All right, we'll try. GGs to everybody. Oh, here, uh, here's uh, here's a here's a tip for you, fans. So whenever you fail the uh, wrong warp attempt in this stage, just enter the bonus and then uh, lose the bonus as soon as possible. And we'll it's like we'll avoid having to death warp. Oh, heck yeah. That, that's good tech right there. Yep. It's like the only stage where you can, like, back yourself up by doing that. Right, I'm not going to need it because this is going to be it for it. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Type 1 in the chat room if you think that <laughs> Fanta's going to get the wrong warp. This attempt right here. We need your ones, gamers. Where's where's the warp? I've never actually got into the barrel the normal way. <laughs> it was on the uh, upper ledge to the right, the one where the crook is. It's okay. Due to the stream delay, I am now seeing the one. So we'll say it applies to this one particularly. Yeah, yeah it, it, ex <laughs> exactly. But I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, now I'm seeing the one. This is it. This is it. All right. Going in. We're going up. Okay. 
One, two. I did this like five times in a row before stream started. I was like, oh, I'm gonna nail this. Chat's gonna think I'm so awesome. Now I look like it always works in practice. I did it again. Yeah. Hang on, I can reset this. I can reset this. Got cannonball again. Wait. <laughs> no. Okay, um, we can reset it again. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You can reset it again. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're gonna go into. Uh, let me get into the bonus over here. Yeah, there yep. It that's it. All right. So we're gonna go in and fail this. Yep. 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 It's okay. I will spare y'all. Well, we'll stop my timer after I get this wrong one, so we can move on to DKC3. <laughs> <laughs> so you spawn here, uh, just roll off to uh, the left side. There you go. And then it puts you right here. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. OK, this is it, gamers, right object. there. Yep, yep. Fan got the uh, clash properly, and there you Time. go. Very nice. <laughs> Time. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you're, um, you get the game confused. There's like an ID that is associated with the object that you're holding. Yep. So if you're holding a DK barrel, it goes to memory. It's like, hey, this is a DK barrel you're holding. So we try to like get two things to clash together at one time. Then that clears the object. So it looks like you're holding nothing. So you're holding an empty space. And then as you move around, as stuff gets loaded on to the screen, you can see a whole bunch of very silly things happen. One one of the funny things is, depending on what is in that memory, so we manipulate it so it's a bonus, and you go in there, the game doesn't know what to do, and you're done. Uh, but you can also get other things loaded in. My favorite example of this, <laughs> boy, maybe you could show it off, because um, we got a little bit of time here before we get into DKC3. Um, in Bramble Scramble, um, if you break open the box that Squox is in, and then you throw the invisible barrel. Squawks just gets yeeted across the screen. And it's a soft lock because you can't get him back. It's just I, 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 Yeah, I'll show it off. I'll show it off. So, All right, every, I, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, yeah, let's go yeah, full yeah. screen so, on Boyd's cam here since I am done with Yeah, so so, so we, we we actually call that back again bird, but it's not desirable because, like like fans said, uh, it, it would be a soft lock. Um. It's so funny. <laughs> And also because like you want to get the wrong warp, but like yeah, essentially, uh, the, 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 I'll, I'll I'll try to get it, but uh, it, it involves failing the trick. So I believe I believe in your ability to fail in an entertaining way. I know, right? right hold on. Get the clash. Get the clash. Oh, okay. I got nothing this time. No. <laughs> I think I think I might know why I got nothing. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's give it another, another try. Yeah. Also, I love the moonwalk he did to attempt to skip the cycle. Sick stuff. Yeah. Alright, got the clash this time. Oh dang! I didn't get it. I thought I thought I did mess it up properly. Do you have but to like, open the box, like land on the box? No, you don't have to land on the box. Usually, usually like if you, if you do it properly, uh, the invisible object will open uh, the box by itself. Yeah, I, you know, Void, thank you for amusing me and the audience here trying to do this. Like, it, this is so dumb. Like, you don't want this to happen. This is bad. This is a failure yeah. state. But it looks so hilarious. You'll understand if we can get it here. There we go. There. Yes. See you later, Squawks. And yeah, like, because you, you uh, opened up the box, then the game thinks that, oh, you have Squawks available. Therefore, it locks the camera and you can't go back to the left. So your only That's... solution is to, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Die and, to do that. and try again. <laughs> oh my gosh! And so thank you for demonstrating. <laughs> yeah. Now, now I have to like get the wrong word properly real quick to really like make make, <laughs> sure. make up good karma for DKC three. You know. Uh, All right, we're we're getting the good juju in for DKC three, <laughs> uh, which we are going to uh, head to a break after this. Look at this. Look at this textbook execution going through. There's the barrel, making it look Very easy. nice. Well done. Void, GG's. Yeah, GG's. Even with all my cheating, 
I, I couldn't <laughs> keep up with the game master, the gamer void. The game right master void. Yes, I, <laughs> game I actually master like void. that can, title. Yeah, you can add that to your title now. Uh, you've beaten me live on TV. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. You know, I, 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 I am now a game master on top of being a speedrun trivia chad. <laughs> void, unironically incredible at uh, speedrunning lore. <laughs> A skill I didn't know you had. Anyway, we need to get to DKC3. We also need to head into our second break, everybody. So we're going to go ahead and get set up for that game. Don't get anywhere void. Running at DKC3 any percent. Coming up very soon. And welcome back from the break. What an exciting time in DKC2 we had, huh, void? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have a DKC3 any percent if you're just joining us coming up right here. Um, but before we do, Games Done Quick is hiring. So if you are a business developer or have experience in recruiting sponsorships, and would like to work for GDQ and help us out, apply at gamesdonequick.com slash jobs. So what's the important thing? What is one thing we should know about DKC3 as we get into it? Then I'd say go ahead and give us a countdown for all right, uh, I guess two things that I can say about uh, this game. So first off, uh, DKC3 uh, was one of the last SNES games to uh, release. So uh, it has, uh, uh, because of that, uh, a bunch of, and also, I mean, it's the last DKC game uh, on the Super Nintendo. And because of that, uh, it has a bunch of uh, really uh, cool stuff in the run that really pushes the SNES uh, to its limit and also it looks great and it has a bunch of gimmicks uh, to the game uh, that are not seen in other DKC games and the uh, run itself, uh, the any percent run, is not as glitchy as DKC1 or DKC2 but it still has a few uh, really cool strats that I'll be attempting. Uh, I will point those out in due time and the second thing the second cool thing about this game is that this game has file names so uh fant if you would do me the honors of uh giving me a uh, five character file name uh letters or digits well you know my name is five letters am i gonna be that like self-centered and narcissistic to have void put my name as the file name in my own show Yes, I am. Put Fant in there. That's what I'm <laughs> talking about. <laughs> I was actually, I was actually hoping you would say that, like your your name as the file name, because it fits perfectly. Pay no attention to the other uh, file names here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 there's nothing to explain <laughs> about those. All right, so all. gonna be starting DKC three in five, four, three, two, one. Smurf. Oh my god, I just noticed something, Void. What's up? Those are those are VHS tapes on a file screen, aren't they? Oh my god, oh! I never knew this until right now. You know what? Me neither. I never made the correlation of like, you know, the sound of the VHS tapes. Oh my god, I taught Void something about DKC. Let's go. That is Damn. a W right there for me. That is a W, yeah. I actually never noticed. That's crazy. Literally just that, staring at it right now. I was like, wait a second, hold yeah, on. Wait a second. Because I didn't no. know what a VHS was until the, the SGDQ pre-show. So. It makes perfect sense. Uh, I, I'm stubborn, so I'm gonna hit this trick. There you go. If I were to have gotten this uh, trick, this is called the 2-1 jump, by the way, and it's frame perfect in this game. Uh, if I were to have gotten it first try, right there, I would have saved one whole second. All right, boy, I think just collectively the entire chat has, minds has been blown. You know, I'll, I'll take the win here. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. See, Fat, Fat might have lost the race, uh, but she won the war. Yeah. Like, oh now, 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 I look, now I look like a fool. I don't look like a game master anymore. Like, damn. Depressing. All right. Anyway, DKC3, the speed run. <laughs> yep, DKC3, the speed run. So this run starts uh, essentially the same way as DKC2, uh, any percent does. So the first two worlds have war barrels hidden in each of the levels. And that's the fastest way to get through uh, the first two worlds. Um, yeah, not much else to say about uh, 
world one and uh, for now uh, up until the boss fight that is the boss fight uh is uh a big big old barrel big old burping barrel named belcha uh, i have actually a pretty cool uh, belcha emote if you feel like subscribing to my channel uh to have that cool belcha emote uh please do so uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, give, give me the belches. I want to see them all. Give them, give them to me chat. I know there are a lot of void subs right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see show. a lot of gamers in my community right now. Shouts to them. And shouts to everybody else also watching. Uh, you guys rock. Uh, hope you guys are having a cool Tuesday night. But yeah, anyways, uh, here's Belcha. Uh, ideally, you want to dispatch this guy in uh, two cycles. So uh, you grab this beetle, you put it in his mouth, he burps. There's another barrel that's gonna spawn. And there oh, you go. Very nice. That hitbox is very strange if you do this the quote unquote normal way. Um, <laughs> I, I had such an easier time as soon as I figured out the bonk tech, or I guess learned the bonk tech for this fight. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Alright, well, two, uh, thankfully, is a little more interesting, if only for uh, this stage right here. So, uh, there is a vertical zip in this level that I'm going to be attempting. It takes about four seconds, but a uh, very cool zip to uh, perform and to see in action. Alright, there you go. Gosh, Oop. so cool. Now, all of these games, you know, they're, they're all the same franchise. They, they look quite similar outside of, you know, for some reason, the, the mice are different in every single game. The bees yep. are mechanical because we eliminated them all in DKC2. That, you know, that part I get, but how does it feel like just control-wise, you know, going game to game, especially in quick succession like this? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. So I, 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 I've always said that it feels less awkward to go from DKC2 to DKC3 than to go from DKC1 to either of those games. Uh, DKC1's uh, movement and just like general flow, like the way you roll and the way like uh, movement is, um, I guess, executed in that game it definitely feels like a little I guess clunkier is not necessarily the word I'm looking for, but like it does feel noticeably different than DKC2 and 3. Um, DKC2, in my opinion, has uh, the best uh, feel for the movement. Uh, DKC3 feels kind of similar to DKC2, except that uh, the animations are like, um, I'd say more lavish, like they feel smoother, but at the same time, like they feel slower. So like, you know, the animations are better, but at the cost of like performance, if that makes sense. One thing that I think is easily noticeable that is an improvement is whenever you're on ropes, ropes feel so good in DKC3. Uh, well, I'm biased towards. Ooh, that's a bad hit. Uh, I'm biased towards the rope in D ropes in DKC2, but I can definitely uh, see your arguments. So this guy is uh, kind of a jerk. Uh, it's, he's a lot better to fight if you have both Kongs, because you can team throw up to the branch to grab the uh, the barrel that will spawn there uh, after the first uh, hit. But now I have to uh, I have to unfortunately suck it up and really like fight this guy the the slow way. It uh, like Boy. it ironically might have been faster to just death warp and what, try what is to he fight again. Um. I, in my head canon, it's chewing gum. Yeah, it's like, you know, like the spear mints, you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't know what whether like. that's uh, what he's uh, chewing, wh wh whether that's what he's spitting or not, uh, we'll never know. Just is what it is. Yep. I also really like the overworlds. Just, it's kind of fun to, to move around and look at it. It's this is a great secret. overworld. It, it looks good and you have a lot of, yeah, exactly, exploration that available to you. And you have like the, the vehicles that Funky uh, unlocks for you periodically. So right now we're going to go from uh, the motor boat to the hovercraft and the hovercraft allows you to uh, go over those uh, rocky formations. So now you have access to... Uh, Two extra worlds, uh, technically three, uh, if you count Lost World, which is also located in that area, but because it's a 90% run, we're not going to be uh, dealing with uh, Krematoa. Um, 
right now. In any case, uh, <laughs> we're entering uh, Mechanos, which is the third world of DKC3. Uh, and this is kind of where like the difficulty already like ramps up because no more war barrels, uh, first off. And also, uh, yeah, the levels in general are just like, you know, big, big old scary levels, like factory levels. Like, you know, if you uh, take DKC1's factory levels, in, by comparison, like they were pretty tough, right? Like th th those are also pretty tough. Yeah, K. Roll doesn't like that you're infiltrating the Cheese Puff Factory here. It is the Cheese Puff Factory. Yep, definitely. Very good cheese tile puff. set. <laughs> yep, Cheese Puff Factory with the the melted cheese pots, as you see. So delicious! Like it always looks so yummy. Like, hmm. Nacho cheese sauce, basically. Right. It's also our first instance of the wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Little debus here um, to avoid uh, having to go all the way to the left. Saves about six seconds. A lot of like the the the, the saving time uh, strats in this game uh, involve damage boosting. Um, because like I remember back in the day, like when I was I started taking an interest in uh, speedrunning this game, uh, there weren't as many glitches discovered. Like that zip in uh, two one that I executed, for example, uh, that wasn't really a thing. Uh, the two one jumping that I did in one one that also wasn't really a thing. So like a lot of like going fast implied damage boosting. So it made for like definitely a less interesting and exciting run than DKC one and two, but like. Over the years, this game has definitely caught up as uh, a, a really good speed game. Uh, also, uh, I'm doing an all-scroller, and after this, I'm doing another all-scroller. So, you know, that, that, I, when I say that this game is a good speed game, I mean it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you can't go wrong with any of the, the DKC games. Though, uh, some, some categories can be very rough. Oh yeah, for sure. Why is, why is there like a little bobsled in the, in the sewer anyway? That there. You ever wonder about the logic of, you know, why why everything is a barrel? Everything is just a barrel in this game. Everything is just a barrel. <laughs> Here's another uh, logic question for you, Fant. Why is this tree being sawed vertically? Um, there, the, well, okay. So this is actually a sequel to Link to the Past. If you... <laughs> If you play Link to the Past, you'll recall um, that there are these two giant lumberjacks that are like four times the size of Link, um, chopping down a tree. And after you beat Aghanim, the tree chopping's done and you can go in there and get like a piece of heart or something. So they're out of work and they moved over here and they're very, very large, like the, the largest NPCs in that game. So they're the only people who could handle a saw of this size. The customer needed to make canoes and since the trees are already hollow and you know cut on one end, um, essentially they're they're shaving off that portion uh, so they can be perfectly usable canoes. You get about like you know 10, 12 canoes per tree trunk since they're so long. Yeah, it's a good business model, I think. Dude, that was an insane lore update, but yes, that's usually the the answer I give to my chat whenever they ask me like about the, the the saw, like who's sawing the tree in this stage. Like I always say, it's the two lumberjacks from Link to the Past. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> they are so big. Like unironically, go play Link to the Past and look at the so just stand next to them. They are so massive. Now, who put the lamps in here is another thing. Who lived here? This could have been prime real estate, and, you know, <laughs> they had to pay a, a big fee for the property rights. Yeah, They moved like, everybody out, pretty much. Yeah, like so the, maybe they the, got the, a, a deal because of all the termites. Could you imagine, like, how many people this could house? Like, did they not know no, this about could, this the This could house crisis? all of New York in this forest. Yeah, like... Oh, Unbelievable. Instead, we're making canoes, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure who's going to use them, because they're still going to be pretty big canoes. <laughs> I guess the lumberjacks. And their Maybe lumberjacking... they're for the lumberjacks. They're, they're so yeah. big, they need that. Yeah. yeah, and their lumberjacking families. 
You know, I hear they have big families. Well, big, 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 big lumberjacks, big families. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. All right, so uh, here's a piece of tech uh, that uh, I'm gonna use uh, pretty extensively in this level and also uh, in other levels. Uh, five one is another one that comes to mind. But um, every time I enter a barrel with only one Kong, it is faster than if I were to enter it with two Kongs. So that's why I am still uh, solo Dixie, even though it puts me at risk of dying. Yeah, that's a thing that's only uh, a thing. A thing that's only a thing in this game, in DKC 1 or 2, that's actually inconsequential how many cogs you enter with uh, into a barrel. But yeah, the stage is actually like, it's kind of spooky because the halfway barrel is out of the way, so if you die, you lose a lot of time. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. The, the, the low G. The low G the labyrinth. Stage. This is another stage that uh, if you make a mistake and you die, you lose a lot of time because everyth everything is slower, uh, including your death animation. Also, I uh, killed this guy by rolling through it. Uh, there is uh, a way to trick the game into thinking that you roll uh, through this guy from behind so that you don't take damage and instead he's the one who takes damage and involves uh, basically facing or hitting the d-pad. If you want to hold the d-pad in the same direction as the guy is going in right before uh, connecting with it. So that's what I do. All right. So now I'm Squawks. Uh, this, 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 this parrot's name is Squawks, not Squawks. Uh, Squawks is the green parrot. This is Squawks, the purple parrot. Uh, Quawks cannot spit eggs, uh, therefore he's pretty bad. Uh, he can hold barrels, uh, which is, you know, fine, but useless in this level. Also, you can squeeze in between those two red bees uh, without taking damage. Uh, very nice. Uh, Saves, uh, it, 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 it saves a decent chunk of time, uh, because, you know, this, this level is slow, therefore, uh, you don't want to extend your stay more than necessary. I'm going to take a D-boost here uh, to both uh, go faster through that section and also to fix my Kong order, because I want to be Kitty going into the boss fight, uh, Kitty Lee, Excellent. because I'm going to be doing uh, those 2-1 jumps that I did in 1-1, one, one, I'm going to be attempting them in this boss fight as well. I'm going to be attempting uh, 4 of those 2-1 jumps, and ideally I get... I get them. Uh, there's one. There's two. Very nice. Dang. Okay. So, I think I'm just gonna chill now. I got two, and that saves already, like, a ton of time uh, over not getting those two one jumps. Mind you, like, those are uh, frame perfect uh, techniques, and uh, you can only realistically have, like, one or two attempts uh, per two one jump uh, in this boss fight. So, yeah, if you can nail all four of them in a row, it not only saves uh, a lot of time, but it ba basically, like, makes you uh, a god. <laughs> oh gosh, the lasers. By the way, everybody, you know, we've got a, a couple amusing level names in the Japanese version of DKC2. I want y'all to know, DKC3 is exactly the same in terms of literal the literalness of everything. It's like Loji Labyrinth. That, that is foie foie ducto, which basically translates to buoyant duct, which it, that, that's what it is. It totally is. It's amusing. It's great. It's wonderful. Never change. Do, <laughs> what, 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 what's the name of the level that you said? Foie foie ducto. And the translation? It's a buoyant duct. Bland duct? Buoyant. Buoyant duct. Oh, like buoyant. Oh, okay, okay. It's not a... <laughs> buoyant is not a word I use every day, so... <laughs> I had to like... Oh, learn. yeah, yeah, okay, well, that, 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 that's what that word means, you know? <laughs> the joys of not being a native English speaker, you know? <laughs> You're, you, you do grades. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> I, I, I hope I can be uh, eloquent enough for the masses. Because uh, otherwise, like, you know, I, I, I don't think uh, the, the, the gamers would enjoy my stream. Um... I think my favorite, like, um, translated name in DKC3 specifically is, I'll, I'll see if you can figure out what this one is referring to. Uh, 
Conveyor Rope. That's the name of the level. What could that possibly be? In uh, this game? <laughs> yeah, this game. Oh, I mean, it's the it's seven one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <obviously. laughs> It's it's funny you say oh, okay the name of the stage is conveyor rope but like in English yeah. the name of the stage is conveyor rope clash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just conveyor rope in Japanese. Very very funny. They 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 save time on uh, the name of the level. Truly the <laughs> tr 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 the true speedrunning logic. Uh, my uh, native language is French. Uh, I uh, was born and raised in uh, Quebec, which is the uh, French-speaking province of Canada. All right, so this stage, I like to say that this stage is like literally the easiest level in the whole run. Um, like the gimmick is really nothing too fancy. Uh, there are a couple damage boosts that are interesting, like this one. Get into this barrel faster, fixes your Kong order. Oh, and also, uh, he he here's a fun thing. Um, remember how I mentioned uh, earlier tonight about uh, the English and the Japanese versions of DKC2 having uh, very small differences? Uh, this game is exactly the same. Uh, <laughs> That, that there are like really dumb like differences that you would be like okay why is there a different like wh why is this different compared to like the English version like why did the Japanese version decide to do this uh, section differently or whatever like it's just extremely minor stuff like there's a B coming up for example like this this B right here like this B does not go as high as it does on the English version why why is that the case? I don't know, but here we are. All right, so this stage, um, this stage is pretty tough, but you want to do the stage with only one Kong because having both Kongs uh, creates uh, a lot of lag. Uh, Kitty, Ki yeah, Kitty Kong lags the screen a lot. Lots of moving Thanks, sprites. Yeah, if you had to guess what the name of this level would be. What, what do you think, boy? What's your guess? Uh, I would say uh, Crazy TNT Barrels. Um, not quite. That's a little too creative. Uh, this one uh, is Clasp Rope. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, I guess, my God. I, 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 so I guess they decided to, like, you know, keep, keep, keep the clasp in the name of the level, because those guys are called clasps, I'm pretty sure. Right there, yeah, I tried to do a, a fancy uh, roll through the, the three recoil dudes, but uh, the fish in the water was not in the right position for me to uh, attempt completing the strat, so I had to bail. Um, Shouts to that fish, by the way. Uh, he's considered an animal buddy, despite the fact that uh, all he tries to do is uh, murder you. Alright, that's nice. was able to... Get through this section with only two barrel shots. Pretty good. You don't want to. You don't want to become Ellie the elephant. That's slow. Uh, Ellie the elephant is used in this level for the one and three percent category, but this is eighty percent. We're going fast. Okay, this doing, was uh, actually really funny. You would never guess this one. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god! There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this will be a fun Ain't one for you and chat to guess this one. I cannot believe this is real. Ain't no way, she says. Ain't no way, yeah. <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> so we had the waterfall level before. This one is essentially climbing up the waterfall again. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so funny because you already climbed it before, so it's just like one more time climbing up the waterfall. Wait, you mean the name of the level or? <laughs> yeah. Is it the name of the level? It's literally climb the waterfall again. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically, essentially. Or one, oh yeah, one more time my going goodness. Up the yeah. I, I, I kid you not. <laughs> That's what. It's uh, a fun language. This, this, this game never gets old, boy. <laughs> 
I, yeah, you, you, you're teaching me a couple things about this game tonight. The VHS tape and now the uh, very, uh, very interesting uh, level nomenclature. Level naming nomenclature, I should say. Oh, okay. Um, this is uh, interesting. I'm gonna grab the DK barrel just in case. Yep. Okay. So you you guys saw the the whole gimmick of the level in full display here. So uh, the fish right now is following you. You need to feed him other fish, otherwise he gets angry at you, and you cannot feed him clams because he will also get angry at you. And if he gets uh, too angry, then uh, you take damage. All good though. Okay, so boss fight coming up. Um, this guy's name is Squirt, but in my opinion, uh, I think he looks a lot like Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars. What do you think? Oh my God, you're right. I hate that you're right. I hate that you're right. Now I'm never gonna see it anything. Thanks. Boy. I also hate that I'm right. Don't worry. <laughs> But like, we have no idea what this guy is, or why he's there, or like, you know, like anything. Like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what the lore behind this guy is. He just likes to spit water. And look ugly, I guess. Um. <laughs> All right, this, this is the last time I'm gonna interject. This this boss This boss's name in Japanese is suck water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I'm done. I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm not gonna distract. <laughs> suck water, eh? Hmm. Yeah, suck water. Yeah. <laughs> really makes you think. I mean it, it that that is what it is, yeah. Hey. <laughs> By the way, gamers, uh, if you enjoyed this uh, DKC content, uh, make sure to follow my channel at twitch.tv slash void. Probably a slug. Yeah, probably. Like a, uh, some, ki some kind of slug. All right, so because I messed up Fish Food Frenzy, uh, I have to play the stage with two Kongs, but that's fine because the stage is uh, pretty tough. Uh, it's one of those stages that saves time to do uh, by yourself because of the barrel uh, thingy that I mentioned earlier in the run. Uh, but because of how scary it is to only play with uh, one Kong, like, I really don't mind uh, having both as a safety measure. For sure. It's also just a very cool level to go through. Like Dixie climbs those uh, horizontal ropes uh, very quickly and smoothly. It's like very snappy movement. Ooh, okay, well, there you go. So that can happen. That's like a, a big thing, a big scary thing that can happen in the stage. If you like are too early on one of your uh, rope climbing inputs, then uh, it ends up being eaten and you take damage or you die. Another auto scroller, another uh, sled level. Probably not too much else to uh, to say about this stage, though. There's snow, I guess. Yippee. There, there is snow. There is you snow. You keep going. Yep. You keep moving. Yep. Guess, guess, guess where there's snow as well. Uh, Canada. Uh, no way. Li literally, uh, right now there is snow, or rather, like it was snowing last night. Uh, today it was raining, so most of it is gone. But uh, it was snowing last night. Basically, snowstorming. So you know, fun times. That's, that's cool. I've only been uh, inside of a snowstorm a handful of times in my entire life, so. I'm sure for you it's a yearly occurrence. Unfortunately it is, yeah. Yeah, be sure to go follow Void if you want more anecdotes of what snow is like. 
Snow is, you know, very pretty, very fun until you have to shovel like 10 feet of it. And I wish, you know, saying that 10 feet uh, of snow uh, per winter is an exaggeration, but it, 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 it even, it's not even an exaggeration, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just something that us Canadians have to, uh, you know, suffer through. Also, the stage is pretty cool, but at the same time, uh, it's pretty painful. Uh, those barrels coming down the waterfall have uh, kind of jank hit boxes, and also uh, there's quite a bit of lag that you have to muster through. There's also, one of them I, where you had to do like a oh. weird jump across them, like even in the casual playthrough, like it's a, it's a hard level. Yep. Just making it look easy, that, that was super smooth. Yeah, that was good. Wow. That was good. Like I did, a, I did a skip that I, I, I forgot to talk about. But like that skip saves like a huge portion of the level. It saves like twenty seconds, and I was able to get it first try. So that was nice. Very good. All right. So actually, fun fact, fans, uh, about uh, Squitter the Spider uh, in this game. Uh, so you know those uh, instant platforms. Like in yeah. this game, you cannot. Uh, spawn them by pressing L and R at the same time. You have to delay your L and R presses. Like you kind of have to, like you know, tap L and then tap R a couple frames after. So it makes them kind of awkward to do in this game, and definitely um, a, li a little tricky, trickier to uh, to do than in DKC2. In DKC2, like you really just only have to press L and R at the same time. All right, last level name quiz. What's this level's name? Uh, the same. The level's name is uh, Purple Strawberry Milkshake Factory. <laughs> close. You're close. It is targeted squitter. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty uh, literal. Literally, what it is. Uh, by by the end of this run, everybody's gonna be an expert. We'll be able to predict the names. <laughs> yeah. All right, next stage, you're going to tell me that the, the name of the stage in Japanese is a sliding penguin or sliding lemguin. Um, actually, you know, it's a it's a little bit different. This is like one of the, the few ones that's, you know, quite uh, creative, yeah. I will say. This, this is oh, this really? one is Lemguin's Garden. Oh, Guard as in yeah. like you know you you, you 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 guard you defend. No, like garden as in where you grow. Oh, garden. Uh, yeah, okay, stuff. garden. Yeah. Okay, I, I miss her. Yeah. Huh. Garden. Uh, these guys have like really atrocious headboxes, by the way. So <laughs> a lot a lot of the what the, this level is is just uh, navigating those headboxes and slash or uh, taking advantage of them to a uh, great effect because rolling through enemies is faster. That's like a, a core mechanic of uh, the Donkey Kong Country series. You want to roll as much as possible because it's faster and you also want to roll through enemies because it's faster. All right, so this guy, Bleak, sucks. There's a skip that <laughs> saves a lot of time. Let's see if I can get it. Dang. So this this is frame perfect as well. Uh, there is an audio cue, and like that's pretty much the uh, most reliable way of uh, getting the skip is using that audio cue. Yeah, the bosses they do hype up though, which is very very nice. Oh yeah, like the, this game actually has uh, much better bosses than in uh, DKC one or two even. Like I uh, I actually like the boss fights in this game quite a bit, except this guy. Like I mean, this guy you have to skip. Oh, all right, so up. third try. Not bad Let's at all. Let's go, GG. So yeah, right, because as, you didn't as get you to saw... hear it, I'll, I'll give you my bleak impression. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's uh, it. Uh, Let's uh, go uh, into uh, the uh, next uh, stage. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so yeah, you have to you have to <laughs> die and like on a very like on the same frame as uh, the game uh, would fade to black and kick you out of the level. Uh, you have to press start, and if you do it right, then uh, for whatever reason, the game uh, just uh, allows you to skip the fight. So third try ends up still saving time over fighting the boss uh, normally. If you if I had gotten bleak skip first try, I would have saved close to a minute. Uh, if I had gotten bleak skip like f roughly fourth try, I would have uh, been close to breaking even with uh, actually doing the fight normally. But uh, yeah, third try still saves time. And uh, now we're in World 6. 
And this level is actually pretty cool. So you get to like see uh, a few. Um, you, you, you got to see a little bit of like what uh, Purple Parrot Quarks actually does, but not as much as the game designers would have uh, maybe let you uh, onto because uh, you can just hug onto some walls and skip uh, sections where you would be intended to really clear bees. That's another big one. And for other sections, you can just do the D-boosts like right there. And here I'm going to do another D-boost, get this invisible Kong barrel. And then do another D boost. That was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. go. I was unlying earlier when I said that this game has a lot of D boosting. Baron. Alright, so this is uh, Benny the Bear. There are a lot of uh, bearers in this game. Uh, they're called the Bear Brothers. Uh, they're definitely involved in the 1 to 3% run of this game. Uh, but this one, you have to go through him uh, regardless of the category because uh, he owns half of the chairlifts on the overworld. There, yes, there is a chairlift in this game. It's so cool. Yeah, I love the chairlift. All right. And now uh, we reached uh, another auto-scroller, but this is the last auto-scroller of the run, and the name of the stage is uh, Confused Cliffs, but we like to call the stage Burn Your Rope. And I'm sure that in Japanese, <laughs> the name of the stage is probably Burning Rope. <laughs> You know, Please the, tell the me I'm right. Get into I, I caught a glimpse of it at the um, as you loaded in because thankfully Void is playing in Japanese, so I could just like get a glimpse of them when you're loading in. This one is a fire rope panic or fire rope panic. So it's literally just oh, I mean, yeah, it's, it, it's uh, the first one where it's like you know, it, it, this world it's not, it's has not a lot like a, the, the, an obvious one, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. It, it, it's, it's kind of a decent name in Japanese, actually, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm playing on Japanese, actually. Uh, thanks for uh pointing it out that I, I am playing on Japanese, but the whole reason why I'm playing on Japanese instead of playing on English is because of Bleak Skip. Bleak Skip is just a thing on the Japanese version, for whatever reason. For whatever reason, it's not a thing on the on the English version. And the English version, mind you, came out before the Japanese version, so I don't know, I don't know why they felt like uh, adding a frame perfect trick to the run. Like devs, the, the Japanese devs, like when they, they toyed with the game and they changed it, like they decided that, oh, I, adding a frame perfect trick to the speedrun, like, you know, they, they'll love that. The speedrunners yeah. of DKC3 will love that. Like they, they will be eternally grateful to us. I know you're grateful. Bleak sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Bleak does suck. Anyway, if you want to theorize on the, the next level, I think goes back to something you would more expect. From, uh, uh, the, the trend we've seen so far. It's the one yeah, where it's, we're... It's the, it's the fish one, right? Where you got the... Yep, it's, uh, it's, it's called Floodlit Fish in English. Mm -hmm. uh, in Japanese, I would say it's probably like, you know, uh, l lighting fish or whatever, or like do d dark pond or <laughs> something like that. You're close. You're really, really close with dark ponds. You're almost there. Hmm. Dark lake, yeah. It is dark underwater labyrinth. Oh, okay. Yeah, very descriptive. Yep. You'll you'll see as we get into the level here. It, it, that it, is what it, it is. It, it's basically a labyrinth. Yeah, like. <laughs> whilst learning this game and trying to uh, really uh, learn the levels, I got lost more than once through yeah, this stage. This is a one of the the harder ones. Definitely took me a while to. Just be able to route through it without, you know, stopping. It's like, where am I going? Which one are we doing? Look at a map and all of that. Yep. I will say, you will never in a million years guess what the next level is called. So, good luck <laughs> on this one. Trust in the on guard hitbox. Oh yeah. So here's a cool thing about on guard in this game. Uh, he's busted. Uh, right now, I'm literally just mashing Y and navigating uh, with the D pad through the stage. Uh, He's basically invincible as long as you're lunging, for except for like a handful of frames from uh, the animation of uh, the clam. Oh, like that. See, like I took damage right there because I uh, tried lunging into the clam on uh, at a bad time. So that sucked, but I should be able to still beat the stage as long as the ending does not body me. I believe. Oh no, I got bodied. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't believing that's hard okay. enough. It's, that's on me. That's on me. Nah, 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 nah. 
<laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna blow on guard. DKC1 on guard, leaking into DKC3 for like a split second, you know? There you go. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Everybody, make sure you go follow Void. Yes, please awesome. follow me. If you if if you enjoy this content, uh, please follow me because that's basically uh, me every single day on my stream, uh, where I play donkey and uh, goof around and uh, you know try to be funny with uh, moderate effects. He may even call you gamer. I am a gamer. Gamer chat. Oh my goodness! That again. Turns out, turns out that section uh, at the end with only one Kong, uh, pretty spooky. And I'm just like, you know, full sending it, basically, and uh, paying the price for it. But, uh, you know, content. It's, it's okay, we're getting so much content out of this, I can't even believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat, type 1, if you are enjoying this hashtag contents here on Game Masters for yeah, GQ Optics. Are you guys enjoying this gameplay through the dark underwater labyrinth? I, I... <laughs> yes, yes, I am very much. So. There we go. All right, that's more or less how the movement through that section is supposed to go. Uh, first try, by the way. Or... Look at all those ones, boy. I, I think that's having a good time. Yeah. I mean, how yep. could you not? It's how could you not? Playing Donkey yeah. Country. Thanks for being here, everyone. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so uh, the uh, first section of this stage, oops. The first section of the stage is supposed to uh, grab Squawks, uh, but you can skip him, and it saves about a second to do so. And also, it looks really cool because, you know, hey, look at me. I'm playing a section of the game without the animal buddy that uh, the game intended for you to uh, play it with. Yeah, do you get all the animal buddies in this one? Uh, not on the any percent run, but on uh, 103. I get a casual run through of this level. Yeah, so on 103, yeah. you do need Ellie, the elephant, to get into the first bonus, and you do need Squitter to get into the second bonus. Uh, you don't need Squawks in uh, either category, yeah, because you can just skip him and it will always be faster. Uh, well, that's but... a sick jump. <laughs> yep. Skipping Squawks will always be, always be faster, and. Um, Grabbing on guard will always be faster. And yeah, uh, that was a cool usage of uh, Kitty Kong's uh, water bouncing ability. Yeah, the, the skip, like, it's it was so hard for me to get that in the first time. That level was full of friends, by the way. Full of friends? Oh, okay. Full well, of friends, that's, yeah. That's they're all basically there. what Everyone's it is. Everyone's here. Yeah. Yep. And you know, you know what else was there? Like, that uh, barrel for whatever reason. So I'm just able to do a 2-1 jump, which I got second try, by the way. Pretty nice. And get team throw into uh, that barrel, and it saves 10 seconds. Oop. Whoa. Now, why does this song go so hard? This song is great. The percussion? Yup. Yeah, this is why I like the DKC climbing, or DKC3 climbing. It just feels good to be on the ropes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Woo! That was spicy. Yep, very nice. Well All right. Big old boss fight now, and uh, Barbos. Barbos, uh, the clam. I guess he's a clam. Clam, barnacle, something. Anyways, um, you have to launch into those spiky things to... Uh, or remove, uh, I guess, the clams that are like protecting him, and you have to do that for uh, the first two phases through various means. Uh, he doesn't have a hitbox right there in the middle, so you can just lunge in there safely to bait the missiles back towards him uh, a lot faster than intended. And the last phase is just uh, running to him three times. That's it. That was actually really wow. good. Really clean boss fight. Pretty happy about that because that guy, uh, that, that guy has uh, like he usually always gives me trouble on PB paces. It's funny how it works, right? Oh, the the the, the boss fight gets hard only uh, when uh, you know your run is uh, really deep in the green, huh? Hmm. 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 Right. Final world coming up here. Yep. Good luck. Yep. There you go. These the, the, bubbles can be very rude. Yep, this is the stage called Conveyor Rope in Japanese, but in, <laughs> in, in English it's called Conveyor Rope Clash. 
<laughs> this is probably the closest between the the translations. Yeah. It only gets weirder from here, so. But yeah, so uh, as you can see, like those uh, conveyor, like the, yeah, those conveyors are uh, bringing you uh, quicker to the right. So you really want to be uh, riding them as much as possible. I had to improvise a little bit because I took damage. Um, I'm not used to doing the first half of that stage with Kitty. Uh, Dixie is uh, very nice to have in that level, so. Uh, this is D boost I'm going to be going for right here, which will set me up for this last section. Oh, sick. Oh, you're going yeah. so fast. Yep. That's awesome. Nice. Right. All right, that was well not done, bad. GG. Next stage is a pretty big RNG point, and it's right at the end of the run, huh? How nice, but um, yeah, so the ghost barrels uh, are, uh, ha they have patterns to them. Oh, nice, I got a good RNG on that one. Uh, they have patterns to them. Uh, the RNG for those patterns is determined uh, either as you load the level or as you load the barrels uh, onto the screen. Uh, I think it's like as you load the level, but like they also operate on like they might operate actually on global cycle. Like we were talking about global cycles uh, earlier, they might actually be uh, a thing that operates on global cycles. Interesting. Yeah, because there's not too many instances of that in this franchise. Nope. In the sense that like. They will be on a pattern, like the pattern will be set, but like if you like, uh, say, say you drop a safe state for uh, for that stage, like the, iron, the, the the patterns will be the same, but if you um, if you take a, se a, pri a prior section slower than like before or uh, like in, a, in another like attempt or whatever, uh, the barrel will be different, like the barrel spawn, the direction will be different. Also, that was like really, really good. And I also got really, it? really good RNG. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a camera manipulation. That's something like I didn't even mention throughout this run. Like, um, whenever you uh, saw me moonwalking, maybe like in uh, this game, like right there, that was an example. I also did like a good chunk of moonwalking in DKC2, but like it helps uh, setting the camera up to uh, maybe delay some uh, sprite spawning and. Uh, help you with uh, some cycles. Also, I missed that jump. That's unfortunate. This stage is really hard, by the way. Uh, this is mm. basically uh, <laughs> the hardest level in the game. Yeah, I agree. Like, just, even from a casual standpoint, this level is hard. The lightning is so aggressive. Yep. There's definitely a way to go about uh, those lightning strikes. Um, all right, there we go. I got the jump. Um, But like, if, if the movement is like ever so off, then like, uh, you really need to be uh, on your toes. All right, very nice. I was able to uh, get the good barrel break right there. Very nice. Have you ever nice. had a situation where you swear the weather just hates you personally? That's what this is. Oh yeah, I can, I can confirm. <laughs> Here, gonna wait a little bit. Paid the lightning to strike above me, so that lightning strike was right above the red beast, so I can go in safely and finish the level. Yeah, the lightnings aren't random, um, they are based off of Kong position. Mm -hmm. uh, this level, I, I wouldn't say it's too difficult. The main difficulty is if you're if you don't land like right on top of these dudes, oh, yeah, uh, they they will heck you. Yep. So Dixie, they, they, they will ruin your life. Yeah, trying to do this as like kitty only. If you've ever done a kitty only run, um, it's not great. Nope. Dixie it's, it's not, definitely takes a lot of the pain out. It's not very good. The stage is pretty nice to uh, run through with Dixie, but uh, not so much with Kitty. Especially that little climb you just did. Yeah, that's the yep. I think anybody who's played this game has had that experience with these guys. Oh yeah. I remember the first time I played this stage casually, I was like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> More than once through the level. What the heck is going on? And also, like, let it end. 
Coin Dozer Forest. Yeah, that's pretty literal. It, it amuses me so much, boy. I don't think I want to get <laughs> tired of it. I get abused by the silliest thing. Like suck water. Yeah. Suck water. Yeah, suck water was like everybody the, the, the silliest one. <laughs> it, it, it was the silliest one by far. Also, uh, this is the last stage of the run, and uh, the purple water makes uh, your left and right go uh, in the uh, other way. So right now I'm holding left, now I'm holding right. You know, putting this on the last stage is probably the rudest they could have done. Because, like, you're getting your controls reversed, it's a hard level, and then you go into the boss fight next, so you kind of have to just unlearn what you just learned to hold left and right. And you're fighting yep. Cable right after this. It's so rude! The damage there, but that's fine, because it's the end of the stage. The strat is just gonna be a little different that I have Kitty in front for uh, the start of the boss fight. So, we will see. So here I'm gonna team throw over this guy as his head is into uh, its body and that will trick him into thinking that I'm still on the left side whereas I was on the right side and the barrel that just spawned right there usually spawns on the opposite side that you're on and you have to go through a, a whole uh, attack cycle which I was able to avoid so that's nice. And oh, t turns out the, the final boss of this game is K. Rule. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, no way. Behind Who would have thought curtain? that? Yeah. Yep, the the bad, the big bad guy of the DKC series uh, is K. Rule. Except that uh, in this game, he rebranded himself as a uh, Baron K. Rulenstein. Good alias. It's got some drip though. I'm a big fan. Yeah. I like the giant gloves, they look good on him. So it's definitely like a somewhat gimmicky boss fight, but um, it's pretty tough. It's a so trick. Kind of uh, terrifying as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's actually a trip coming up uh, right there. Uh, we call it strict task A rule. Uh, the window for it is pretty lenient, uh, but it's still very impressive to pull off. There you go. Very nice. So yeah, that one saves, uh, I think, a whole cycle of him going back and forth, and it's about like five or six seconds saved as a result. Now we're on to the final phase. One barrel, two barrels, and three. And that's time. Yeah. Gee. Nice run. Where'd he go though? He just went through the floor. Uh, yeah, he bounced, I guess. Yeah. But hey, we got a donkey and Diddy back. Hey. And they talk a lot. <laughs> they do talk they a lot. They have a whole conversation here. Yep. I have no idea what they're discussing. But, uh. Coco la toko da? Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> they're looking for a big banana. K. Rule got him. It's, it's going a little bit too fast for me to keep up, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get you. Like, I, 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 would, I would also be able to decipher this if the text was not going this fast. I still uh, need to... Uh... Yeah, there he is. Okay, yep. yeah. Need to practice my Japanese pretty bad. <laughs> Thank you everyone for the GG's and the nice runs. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this fresh uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 speedrun. What was the final time, by the way? Uh, your final time for this run was 50-24. Oh, okay. So 
Not bad, yeah. not bad. At all. Yeah, not bad. Kind of, I was uh, pretty close to what you were expecting. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was hoping to get a sub fifty. I, I was able to, uh, I was able to get a sub fifty on, on my stream this afternoon. But uh, hey, that's all good. That's all good uh, because we gamed. We came. We gamed, and uh, we uh, ent entertained the masses. And I am happy to have uh, done so. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Donkey Country three. I hope you guys enjoyed the trilogy. I hope you guys enjoyed the race uh, that I did with Fant for DKC two. Uh, thanks for having me, uh, Fant. I really appreciate that. Thank you for. Uh, the uh, invitation to be on your show and uh yeah if uh you guys uh, like this uh please uh follow me on twitch and uh i usually stream uh uh weekdays during the afternoon uh eastern time uh so yeah uh, I'll, I'll be playing some donkey tomorrow uh, if you guys are interested in that so uh yeah i hope i hope to see you there and uh yeah thanks again absolutely boy this has been so wonderful like start to finish um i learned a lot of new things uh, i think we taught chat a lot of new things i still can't believe the vhs tape <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I, I, literally I, just I'm staring not, I, at us like wait i had the, the biggest realization i, th I, 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 I think <laughs> i'm gonna lose sleep over this not gonna lie like this just <laughs> blows my mind anyway everybody watching gdq right now again make sure you know refer to the pinned message go check out void he is wonderful he's hilarious he is an official game master now now that you're on here you've beaten me on my own show you've earned that title so congratulations heck yeah uh, i am a game master <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway that is it for our show today. Uh, but there is more hotfix after this because uh, coming up, if you've ever heard of this little game called Ludinistus, it's awesome. You're going to want to watch Church's upcoming show right after the break. Because how to train a speedrunner is up next. Thank y'all. Y'all are great. <laughs>